I have been trying to beat this game for YouTube four years, and today is the day I finally do it for you all. This should be fun. I Darkwood is one of my favorite games of all time in ten of in, ten, in, 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 in like terms of horror audio design. It's gonna be great. It's also very loud. <laughs> Let me turn that down a little bit. That list now would be sewer slides. Lovely. Hello? Jenner is almost out of juice. I need to find a fuel gasoline. A full gasoline can. I saw a broken tractor to the east. Maybe I could find some gasoline there. I always forget how, like, varied in noise volume this game is. So, uh, the video time feels something to your voice to aesthetic. Don't judge me. If things get a little bit loud unintentionally, because genuinely this game varies in audio more than um, a girl changes clothes and you reminisce, take the piss, I don't know, because I'm hot when you're cold, I'm yes when you're no, I'm in when you're no, doggy! <gasps> I forgot about this part. My dog, I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. I don't have a weapon. Oh. Uh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta find a weapon real quick. <sighs> Sorry, doggy. I. I don't have a weapon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Can I get some rips in the... Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. Can we get some rips in the comment section for poor doggy? Chat, name the dog. What's the doggy's name? What's his name? If... Uh, car... Car... Fred... Fred... No, uh... Barney? Oh, Rest in peace, Barney. I'm so sorry, Barney. I'm so sorry. Why did I make chat name the dog before I put it down? That was just cruel. Why did I do that? What is wrong with me? Oh, here comes the creep. Woods have devoured all the roads that connect us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. If I remember rightly, this is a Scandinavian thing, right? I honestly can't remember. I'm sure over time as we play, we'll learn more and more about it. Because again, I've never gotten past Act 2. So there's going to be a lot of this game that will be brand new to me. Crafting menu, craft a torch. And I'm going to be honest, I'm very excited. There's something that no other game has managed to capture in the magic of Darkwood, and it's the sound, it's the, the combat, the way everything moves, the way things appear, the way things look. I'm, I'm, this has been a long time coming, and I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. That's not creepy at all. Hi, dear. Oh, you've been sacrificed on the altar of the damned, huh? Hi. Oh, rags. Uh, oh, more rags. No room in inventory. Oh, dear. That's not good. I need to be able to pick up some fuel, which is by a tractor somewhere. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Hi. I think this one is still breathing. Big metal key. Ray for me. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. Oh. But that... Oh, it's of no importance. Oh, oh, I forgot how brutal this game is. Ah, I need to get out of this accursed forest. 
Okay. You hear me, Rat? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Show me how and I will let you go. How about you lick my bum cheeks? <laughs> oh! Oh, sometimes I hear her voices. Oh, I sometimes hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where is the exit? Where? Show me where! Where are the drugs going? Where's Rachel? Like a dog about oh don't disrespect Artie's memory like that. Piece of shit. Oh, this sucks. Martha! Mommy! Am I alive? Yeah. Okay. That effer stole my key. What a frigger. Uh I don't have a lock pick. Okay. Uh, but I do have a rag and wire, which I believe, yes, there we go. We are getting started. A flashlight and a shovel. Nice. Let's dismantle the door. Yeah. Syringe. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is creepy. Hi. Okay. I probably... Uh, probably shouldn't have... Done that. Why did I loot everything in this place when I could have used it as this guy? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. There's no fuel left. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> um, this is just the prologue, so I do remember that it's not as bad as I think. But <laughs> it's still pretty bad. There we go. We're nice and safe. Glug, 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 glug. There we go. Um. Hey. The card says two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open. I can hear a distorted voice. Barely distinguishable from the radio static. 4892. Okay. Oh. Wow. That's very helpful. Thank you very much, corpse. Oh, it's 92. Oh, 4892. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Who's there? Or seems stuck. Uh, I can't remember how to apply force to it. I have remembered how to apply force to it. There we go. Help me. I'm closer. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I forgot about this. Close. Oh, not with me inside, you moron! Ah! Die! 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 And one for good measure. Small plastic chick. Jesus Christ. I totally forgot about that guy. That's not creepy at all. And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it? I hear it. I'm screwed. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I. Oh god. No. I refuse to die. Oh Jesus. I think 
we died. <gasps> There's a hero to save. Watch as he all fly away. What an absolute legend. You know, for the past four years, I have had a, a, a theory. And I don't know if this is true. But I have had a theory that the merchant is us in the future. And finally, I'm going to get to find out if that's right. Oh, Jesus. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. As well, the protective substance gives me relative safety after dark. Vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all around the house via long pipes. As long as I remain inside my head, I have a chance of surviving the night. When I arrived here a couple days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just need to light it to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. One of our hideouts. Oh. Even probably per substance does not guarantee 100%. Interesting. We need to cook, Jesse. Right. I don't remember any of this. Okay. In lieu of the fact that I'm an absolute genius, I of course know this code, and I definitely didn't have to look it up because I played this game so... Did I put it in wrong? I did. <laughs> I can't believe I put it in wrong after all that. Jesus Christ. This is the beautiful little backers code that the developers put in for people who back the game. Uh, only backers are allowed to use it, which is why I'm using it, because I totally backed the game, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Please don't sue me. But it gives us access to a nice, decent chunk of... Uh, just resources that are generally going to be really useful over time. So I'm going to start off with that because, again, I have done all this in the past. There's whole playthroughs of this channel on this channel of this specific chapter and only this chapter. <laughs> so there's no point in wasting my time doing it over again. Okay, we're going to start off with barricading this one. And then we're probably going to spend most of our time in this room, to be honest with you. We'll barricade these three as well. Okay, I've done all I can for now. At this point, we need to burn whatever little bit of daylight we have left, trying to grab some more wood to finish reinforcing all our walls and home. So I'm going to explore the rabbit bunny. I'm going to explore up first. Up is always safe. Up is best. Absolutely nothing bad happens when someone goes up. I think. I don't remember. I, I don't. It's, it's been so long. Dude. God damn it. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, look at that. Oh. I don't remember any of this. Okay. I need to move this out of the way so I can keep going. What was that noise? Oh, oh, it was me dragging the... Okay, that makes more sense. Excuse me. Hi. Okay, so this is this will be good for, like, an emergency if I'm too far away from the hideout. Good to know, good to know. Thank you for your time. I'm leaving now. Ah, yeah, bloody hell! Suddenly, doggy! Doggy? Damn it. My doggy. Uh, my knife is gone. Did I throw my knife? I didn't mean to throw my knife. Oh, I did throw my knife. Give me my knife back. Ah, 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 <laughs> I will beat you to death with a torch if I have to. <laughs> I didn't know I threw my knife. Can we use the melee weapon or thrown? Well, how do I not throw it? How do I just swing with it? I just threw it again. What the hell? Thank you for the meat, you dumb mutt. There we go. All right. Now I'm ready to stab any doggies that come after me. Also, don't forget to name that dog. I'm calling him Mr. Waffles, and I'm going to eat him tonight. Oh, hey, dude. Hi. You building a rocket ship? <laughs> How's it? Goodbye. Uh, I think he just ran into a doggy. That's probably not a good thing. I am taking this bear chap. Thank you very much. <gasps> we already found wolf? Holy shit! Why are you up here, buddy? Smell your stench from far away meat. Wait, more gravel. More gravel. 
hear it from afar, I can smell your putrid stats. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, me. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna do that voice anymore. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost if you help me attend to certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans to Marby, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew I wouldn't trust you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weaklings, me. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. You think it's so easy? If I were you, I'd prepare myself well for saying it. You think we, every time we've helped Wolf, right? I think we'll do that again this time. Like, so you always crawl back to me. Thanks, buddy. Here's a chick. Good light. I'm perfect for a church fair. Here's a road. What's that you got there? Ah, uh, this road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown retreats like all the other ones. Better forget about the road home, me. Okay. And gossip. If I were you, I wouldn't venture too far from here. Unless you got bored of your lousy life, meat. Only a few returned from the dense woods, and the women made it back were not able to share their happy stories. Interesting. Interesting. So we got a 50 reputation on this guy. We need a toolbox. Unfortunately, I don't think... Well, if we, tra if we trade the knife and the magazine, we can get the toolbox right now. And we do need a toolbox. Ah, that leaves me defenseless, though! Damn you, wolf! I'll be back! I will be back and I will come! With lots of stuff to trade, I swear it upon me, Nan! Oh, here we go. That sounds promising for wood. That sounds very promising for wood. I don't think it's late enough yet for... Oh, beautiful gasoline. For night time to come, but we need to be careful because we are getting very close to the moment where we're going to be too slow. Out! Okay. The truck is here. All right. No! Uh, I don't know why I assume that's a female. <laughs> Please. Oh, get the F out. All right, then. Uh, once again, no wood for my troubles. Hee hee, ha ha, ho ho. God dang it. Hi, friend. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, friend. <laughs> it's a random the hell is that oh it's another random dead guy why is there so much gasoline i need wood gasoline's meant to be rare i've had gasoline out the gills where's the freaking wood oh it's the maze i don't want to do the maze yet i don't want to do the maze yet that's a bad thing more gasoline okay this is good this is good. I can make a lockpick. So we'll drop that. We'll make a lockpick. And I swear to every flavor of Jesus that there will be wood in this. More gasoline! We have a verifiable glut of gasoline. I need wood. I'm going to go cook this mushroom. Okay, we're going to cut dead east and then start heading south along the border. We'll do the maze tomorrow when I'm more confident that we can survive it. I don't think there's any wooden maze. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just a nice helping of going to poop yourself. So we're going to ignore the maze and head south. Wish me luck. Hi, puddle. Hey, hey. Aha! Sorry, puddle. Uh, oh, there's a camp here. Wood. There's Jesus Christ. There's an okay. Uh, not ready to take on Camp Wolf. I don't think the start. Jesus Christ. Why are there dogs everywhere? Camp Stark can live for now. I will be back for your wood. Another dog. Dogs and gasoline. Gasling and dogs. That's... This is... What is this seed? What is this seed? What have you done to me, game? What have you done? So, unfortunately, the light is turning orange. The frig was... Oh. The light is turning orange, which means we're out of time. We need to start heading back. Which is really unfortunate, because as I said, I have found no wood... Which means one of my walls is going to be unbarricaded. That's really bad. That I I don't have a wet. I 
I have a knife. Like, the knife's not a weapon you use to defend an unbarricaded wall. We could drag the cupboard in and... Shut up, dog. Oh, my God! More dogs! What is this? Okay, we're at some more burned houses with more dogs. But there's a log pile here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. One wood! One! One! Are you smegging kidding me? You're having a laugh. You gave me bread before you gave me wood. Get out of here, doggy! I need to, I need to get back. Is there any wood over there? I don't see any. I'm out of time. My knife's broken. Uh, everything's broken. Oh, wood over here. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. Uh, one more! I, I hate this game. This game, it, it knows, it knows I've come back. It's trying to kill me! <laughs> it's getting really fucking dark. Sorry for the language. Hope that's past a minute in YouTube. I've already been rec- hey, Hi, Moose. No, 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 you are not doing that to me right now. Where's my house? God damn it. This is not normal. There is not normally this many dogs. Okay, we made it home. Unfortunately, it is dark. I need to go turn this on before the bad things come. Okay. Okay. All right. We don't have much of a choice here. We're going to have to chill in this room. Barricade this up with... I don't, I don't have enough wind to finish the barricades! <laughs> I have to make a board with nails and try and defend my home manually. I'm using the gun tonight. What choice do I have, dude? All right, come here. We are dragging this and trying to block out that window. This is really not how I wanted to spend my first night making this much damn noise. <sighs> Problem is, this is going to... <laughs> don't flicker. This is going to attract every Tom, Dick, and Harry... From here to Timbuktu to my house with my unbarricaded windows. <sighs> Shit. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 okay. Wow, that was close. Uh, fun fact, that would have poisoned me. <laughs> this game is trying to kill me. This game is trying to kill me. I really don't like it. We're about as safe as we're gonna be. Now we just chill and hide and pray to the Lord I've always denied that they don't find the open window. <laughs> the freak is that noise? Hello? All right, that sound is the sound of a night survived. Very fortunate for us that nothing came sniff snonking around. Now, I believe there are mushrooms out there, but I don't have a source of light. So I'm not going to be able to grab them before dawn breaks, unfortunately. But we do have some that we found in the house. That is great. Good morning, Vietnam! Day two. <sighs> and time is frozen while, while we're in here. So, weirdly enough, for the first time, I think, in Darkwood history, I'm going to be selling gasoline to buy wood. man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the map visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal, with something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs and then takes a huge sack off his back and drops on the ground, revealing its contents. It's full of a road. All roads lead deeper into the woods. Okay, great. Let's trade. Do you want some gas? 29, that's daylight robbery, sir. So these are valued at six. So we can get quite a few of these right now. Flashlight's 272. Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, I think we're good with just this for now. Thank you very much. I will be right back. I'm going to go do some stuff. You stay right there. Don't leave. Let me cook some odd mushrooms. Yay. Oh, we're ready. Aha! 
Uh, staying in dark areas at night can be dangerous to me. I will be able to see further? Once a day I'll be able to heal myself? No. Once a day I'll be able to learn my- No. I will be able to heal myself by- No. We'll do- I will be able to see further. We're gonna be eagle-eyed, and staying in dark areas at night can be dangerous to me. Nice. Okay, so when nighttime comes, we drag this over this door, close this door, drag this in front of the door, and then that will be our triple layer protection from the unprotected door. I need to set up a trap there and a trap there. That one do I'll cover myself from this corner, and we should be pretty damn good to survive most nights. Now let's see what else we need to do. First of all, I need to upgrade the workshop because I want more recipes. Ace, I need to upgrade my inventory because I need more inventory space. I, I need fabric to upgrade my hotbar, so that's not happening right now, but we'll be able to find more fabric soon. Next upgrade requires a toolbox that old Wolfie had. Ace. Oh, where the hell did that gasoline canister go? Oh, thank God. So, so, so. Okay, so that bumps our reputation up to quite a lot, which will let us buy. He doesn't sell the toolbox. <laughs> Great. Wonderful. I could get a flashlight from him, but that would require a little bit extra. Honestly, I, I would love that, but I can't afford it. No, I'm going to sell this to Wolf. I don't know how much of this he's going to take, but at least he can give me a toolbox. All right. Thank you very much, buddy. I need to turn off my generator now. Have a lovely day. Final thing we're going to do before we head out is build the well. Here we are. Once per day, we'll get healed by the well. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's build a Molotov cocktail. I can't. Why can't I? I have everything I need. I need to upgrade my workshop. Why? I also need one bit of wood to upgrade. Ah! What? All right, first things first, let's head up to Wolf, see what he'll take in return for the toolbox. Then the hunt continues for wood. It's always wood. What? <laughs> what weird. It's so weird, dude. I don't know how to describe it. Wood isn't supposed to be a limited supply thing. It's not. Wood is going to be something we're swimming in. We're literally in the dark woods. Oh, you son of a bitch. I would have to sell my pistol as well. Oh, it's a one-time use pistol. It's worth it. I'm, t I'm telling myself it's worth it, okay? I'm telling myself that it's worth it. I, oh, you're a dick. You are a dick, but I'm doing it. Right. Why don't you sell wood, Mr. Wolf? Why not? Huh? That'd be a very lucrative business for you, sir, in this goddamn forest. All right, I think it's time we brave the glorious maze in search of wood. I need to clear the maze anyway because it's the only thing up north that we haven't done yet. The hell was that? Oh, shit, there's a... <laughs> there's a corpse chilling in the leaves. Didn't know there was a corpse there. Awesome. But once we've cleared the maze, that means everything up north of our house has been cleared. So the only thing we'll need to go up there for is wolf's absolutely lovely conversation skills. Ah, shit. Shit. I don't think. No, I don't. Damn it. Okay, there's a locked chest at the end of this maze that I can't act. Oh! Never mind! Apparently, Daddy does. Daddy? Daddy, chill. What the hell? Apparently, I don't need a lock pick. Let's ignore the last bit. <laughs> Why is there no wood? Oh. That's a big bad wolf. Oh, that's really bad. Uh oh. Oh no, I don't. I don't have him. Ah, yes! yes. Hey, who are you? Oh, run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Oh my God! Run away! I think our only hope for more wood at this point is to return to the burned house and pray there's more log piles there, because I am being starved out. And until I can upgrade my workbench again so I can start crafting molotovs. Hey, bunny. Uh, I'm gonna be... I, I, I can't take on that camp. There's like 50 million wolves there. There's so many. I hate it. Oh, that looks really... Ah, what the bloody hell, dude? Oh, you are not... You do not throw something at me and then walk away. Get your ass back here. It's spanking time. I'm gonna give you a paddling. Bam! 
And we're not done. No, 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 no. We're not done. We're not done, sir. Come here. Why are you running? Why are you running? And one more. Chess mob. So we were beside... Yeah, here it is. We were beside a logging camp. I don't know where that dog has gone. That is fine because we need this wood far more than we need a hole in the head right now. Excellent. No room in inventory. Oh, that's not quite so excellent. Shit. Ah, oh, sh uh, no doggy, please. Okay. <laughs> Stressing me out. Uh, what can we lose? We can lose this torch and we can lose the stones. Excellent. Wood is far more important at this juncture than either of those crappy items. Give me the woods. It's the wood that makes it good. Hell yes. Oh, God damn it. I need so much wood. Ah, ah, I know what I'll do. I will heal. Okay, that should be enough wood for us to complete any projects we have for the near future. Oh my God. Who'd have thunk it would have all been fixed if we just found a sawmill. Although all the wood is still in this log form, so we're going to need to spend a lot of fuel in order to transform it. Yay. This isn't my house. I'll need to come back here. All right, this is going to be an absolutely astronomical amount of wood. Thank God for that. Oh. <laughs> nice. Right, so with this wood now, that burned all the fuel that we had in the sawmill, but with this wood now, we can upgrade the workshop again, which will let us make a Molotov cocktail with, um, I'm probably going to use the alcohol versus that. There we go, we'll make two of those. Absolutely ace. What do we need to upgrade it? We need another toolbox. Shit. I don't know if Wolf sells a second toolbox. I'll need to go find out. Also, I'm fairly confident while it's raining... I'm, uh, not able to use Molotovs properly. So, believe it or not, we are not going to be doing the camp today. Okay, I am going to upgrade my beautiful board. I'm going to repair my beautiful board as well. I think we're about as ready as we're ever going to be for nighttime. Right. It's not orange yet, which means it's not dusk yet. This might be a very stupid idea. But I'm full of stupid ideas and it's never hurt me before, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go see if I can do the underground house. Not, not, not the underground bit of the underground house, just the surface area of the underground house in case there's a, uh, uh, a Jesus toolbox in it. Okay, here we are. Looking so far <laughs> one, one bit of wood glorious all right well, for the inside of this house i'm actually going to equip the lantern we can have a source of light we are going to burn through the lantern pretty quick but it's going to be worth it so we can actually see if there's anything evil in here grab that metal really wish i wasn't doing this at a time when it was raining this is the house we'll find the entrance to the underground here We are. St that was very close. Oh my god. We almost bear trapped ourselves. <laughs> that would have been horrible. I would have died so hard. Uh, ah, no! 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 You silly bastard! Why did you walk so close to them? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. That would have been extra levels. It's not nighttime yet. I really want to go down the hole, but I really shouldn't. I'm going down the hole. I'm going down the hole. Oh, this is gonna suck. Okay. I'm in the hole. I don't know what to expect. Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, wait, there's trouble here though. Dig? I can dig this out? <gasps> I had no idea. Okay, I mean, the wood will be very helpful. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. Oh, God, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, God. Oh. 
Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just relax. There it is again. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. More mushrooms. Nice. It's not step on them this time like an idiot. All right, here we go. Locked. It's my only way out. I won't be able to open it without my key. Uh, look at the handle. The hatch handle's covered in a thick layer of dust. Hasn't been opened for at least two weeks. I can hear a faint voice through the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to come through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Look through the keyhole. Wait. I didn't look through the keyhole long enough. God damn it. Hello? 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 I thought something was meant to happen. Am I wrong? Uh... I think I've done something wrong. Okay, I guess I'm leaving. Weird. I, oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. We are leaving! <laughs> I took the wrong turn, didn't I? Oh, shit. Oh, that's not good. Wrong turn, wrong turn. Please tell me I can still... <laughs> oh, there he is! Go! <sighs> oh. oh, I hate the tunnels. But I never noticed before. There's a section of those tunnels we can dig out. I never knew that. That is huge news. Let's head back home. All right. Let's get through this night so that I can go and explore that burned out house and possibly buy a shovel. I don't know how I feel. I, like, I've never seen the tunnel have another, like, area to go before. I don't know if there's anything good there, but just in case it's a toolbox or something. I'm going to need to invest in a shovel fairly quickly. So let's just relax, chill, and everything's going to be all right. Uh, hello? Sounded like someone was in here with me, but nobody's there. Hello? Okay, I'm definitely hearing footsteps outside. Someone over there. I don't know if they can see me through that window, because the bar the way the barricades work, they kind of limit line of sight. It will be attracted to me because of the generator. But there's no guarantee they know where I am. Whispers? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. It's the darkness. Shit. I need to keep that open slightly in case this lamp fails. Oh, this is a terrible time to be alive. Oh, okay, they took out that lamp. This lamp is fine. I don't like the noises. Are we good? Are we okay? That lamp is still broken, dude. Shit, there's still someone out. Shit. I close this door. Okay. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I don't see anyone in here. <gasps> there's someone right there. Watch him. Corner peek and headshot me. <laughs> <laughs> get, get frigged, noob. <laughs> All right, we've survived the night. Dawn is coming. We are safe. <sighs> Day three, we survived. Night two. Right, real quick. 
before I absolutely screw up again because leaving the generator on actually does drain the fuel. Let's turn that off. See what the trader has to trade. Right. So we have one major goal today, and that is to clear the camp, make sure the burnt house is completely clear, and then sweep the south side of. Shut up, folks! As I was saying, sweeping the south side and then breaching through into the silent forest. Silent forest is a spooky area. Not fits for humans. Um, I'm pretty sure that's where we're gonna really see those like big toothed monsters more and more. Anyway, I have brought some mollies to deal with the doggies. This isn't gonna be my uh, nicest animal handling check, but needs must. Let's go. How far can I throw this? Not far enough. Go! Woo! Yeah! a clean sweep hell yeah all right so wire excellent we need that for our uh oh more ghastly jesus christ uh we need the wire Neat. all right fantastic and this was uh not worth it this was really not worth it why are there so few items here oh shit doggy doggy come on Go and do it. Be nice. Holy shit, it was nice. Well, apparently there are miracles in the dark woods. Okay, let's grab these large mushrooms. We're back at the burned house. This is where we got our first chunk of wood. Unfortunately, we do have two doggies here. Sorry about this, pups. Nothing personnel, kids. Uh, oh, why did you die twice? You scared the hell out of me, dude. Right, that was our last molly, but it means we get to search the tractor for a tire meat. All right, let's quickly clear the rest of the burned house. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else in here. I hear mushrooms. Oh, God. We kill, cool, doggy? We kill. Cool. All right, let's grab those. Uh, we've already cleared that. Wait, no, we haven't. What's in there? Oh, God. Doggy, doggy, don't do it. Bad doggy. Doggy. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to go clear what's in that room then. Shockingly, not a lot of enemies. Okay, I was expecting to come in here and get absolutely blasted by something. Let's get out. I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm... Yup, this is it. We're here. We're not here fast enough. We're gonna have to retreat. Ugh. We're gonna have to retreat to our hide. But we are here. And that's what's important. We found it. Now we're gonna have easy access to this region. Okay. Let's grab whatever's in this crate. Hopefully it's not stuff we can't carry. Shit. Oh, this is getting spooky. Getting spooky. Do a very quick sweep of the house. This place is infected with something toxic. You find a way to get rid of it. Yup. Yup, indeed. Now, I don't actually know if a flare will work. Will not. Shit. Okay. All right. We gotta do another thing here then. Jesse, we must cook. Jesse, 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 we are cooking. What say you, Jesse? I don't, I don't know, Mr. White. I don't know if I want to cook. Jesse, we must cook. We're gonna cook right now, Jesse. Oh, jeez, Mr. White, I don't, I don't know if I want to. It doesn't sound very... Jesse! Jesse, don't you question me. I am the man who walks. You're in a wheelchair, Jesse. Oh, jeez, Mr. White, you don't need to be mean about it. It's not like I'm in this by choice. You shot my leg off. Jesse, it doesn't matter if I shut your leg off, Jesse. We are cooking right now, Jesse. 
Get your butt in that camper van. What? I can't use the I can't use the stairs, Mr. White. You shot the Lego. Oh, Jesse, always with the excuses. Drag your ass up there, Jesse. How dare you question me? I'm a science teacher. <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. White, please. Put down the gun. I will shoot your other leg off, Jesse. If you don't, climb up into that camper van and start cooking. Cook me your favorite lasagna. Oh, no, not Italian. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I feel like I'm going crazy here <laughs> preparing for the night. The woods are slowly claiming me for their own. We are equipped with a sturdy stick. Alcohol on bandages. And that's about it, because I don't think the lantern's gonna do any damage. <laughs> this could be an interesting night, because we've been making a lot of ruckus and we've killed a cultist. Let's see what happens. Someone's knocking. Well, we're obviously going to go answer the door, aren't we? <laughs> Why wouldn't we answer the door? I wanna go. Uh, hey! Yummy in your! Okay. Huh? All right, we're, nope, I'm scared. I'm scared. My moment of bravery has passed. It is time to be a coward again. Jesse, we got to run. Run for your goddamn life, Jesse. Okay, we survived another night, dude. Oh shit, my lantern's on. No, 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 stop it. Okay, excellent. We survived. Hey, buddy. Oh, hi. How are you? Uh, I... 270. Where's the watch? That's 300. All right. I will be one second, big man. One second. Okay. Excellent. Now that tells me the time on top right. So 8 a.m. is morning. 8 p.m. is night. That will give us a lot more leeway when we're going out on adventures, which... We're about to now. We're about to go out on a hell of adventure right now because we're going to be heading to the entire next region. Now, this man does sell some really nice items, but I don't think I need them right now in order to get to the next area. I think right now we just need to focus on grabbing up what loot we can from here. Now, someone will turn up here to take what we left behind to our new area. So I mostly just need nails, wood, fuel, metal, pills for safety, molotovs for safety. I don't think we need anything else. I think that's about it. So we'll grab some more wood. Sweet. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Goodbye, darkness, my old friend. You're an ass, so you will land. All right, so we're going to very, very quickly blitz through this area. I think we... Yeah, okay, so the generator drained while we were gone. We're gonna add a tipple. Just enough to light us up while we're inside. There we go. We're gonna go pick up our lockpick, which is in here. Unlock that. Grab as much loot as we can from this place. Uh, excluding some nails. The, uh... Words are hard, guys. Excluding the... Uh, Ah, oh, the flares! The flares! The flares are somewhat useless. Jesus Christ. Why, why, why word hard no good today? Good hard word no be nice. Iron fist steps. Also, where's the lockpick that I left here? Oh, shit. The lockpick's gone. Right, we need to quickly dash out of these trees so we can actually see. Silent forest. Now the game really begins. Shit. I was about to say, look at that trap. That's really devious. And then... Dooder's over there beating his chest. Yeah. Ow! Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, my... Stick is not as good. Ah! Oh, that's so painful! 
I was just saying, like, the, the, the fact that the traps are half buried now are so devious. Here we go. Right. New hideout acquired. Success level th three. Maybe. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna suck. Okay, let's fill up the generator, get everything ready for tonight, because this area of Darkwood does not mess around. All right, what are we working with here? We got our new workbench with the bike bell, which we're actually going to go ding a ling a ding dong right now. Uh, Molotov, store those, store the pills, store the metal, store the shiny stone, store that. All right. Let's see if Buddy Pal shows up. Let's grab these mushrooms. This place is in a lot more of disrepair than the last place, I guess, is a polite way of putting it. Hey, dudes, how are you doing? Mike man. Hey there, boss. I'll be honest here, boss. I'm really thirsty, you see. If you can get a refreshing beverage with a weary traveler, I'd make it worth your while, boss. And just, ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't bring any alcohol. <laughs> No! Oh, please tell me. Oh, you absolute legends. Hey, buddy. Uh, here, I have a present for you. I'll go. Yeah, get me each. Come on, yeah, he keeps the mountain away. Uh, yes, please bring my stuff over from the dry meadow. On it? <laughs> On it like a nun in a cucumber field? Okay. Well, whatever those nuns are doing is none of my business. <laughs> okay, next tier of upgrades. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for mushroom healing. It's probably for the best, like being able to eat mushrooms to heal. Uh oh. Okay. Excellent. Oh no, I forgot about this. Oh, I hate this. Come. Press your ear against the keyhole. You can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. <sighs> Come. Come to me. Come here. Okay. Just follow the shinies. Just follow the shinies and everything's gonna be alright. Oh, just follow the shinies and everything is going to be okay. Don't worry about it. Don't stress. Everything is fine. Keep following the shinies. We're out of inventory space. Where's the bed? Lie down. I made out there like a freaking magpie. I grabbed all the shinies. Fortunately, I didn't get to keep any of them. But you know what? Oh, I got to keep one. <laughs> Yay! One shiny! 
I will use the shiny to fund my drug empire. Oh. Oh shit. Bike boy came through. Look at that. I don't know. Doesn't he normally deliver it? I don't. I don't remember him ever delivering it in like package form before. Well, all right. Let's get that all stashed away. Not the watch. Thank you very much. And we will drag the sofa. And we will begin our night in the brand new location. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, I can search these clothes. R ration stamps! Yay! Oh shit, nice beginning. Uh, quick, 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 quick! Wedge that in. Oh, that's... <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, it's fine. We're okay. Oh, that's not good. Surely the first night will be peaceful, right? Shit. Shit. <gasps> God damn it. Okay. We're gonna have to fight this one. You mother. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, you're a big tough man, aren't you? Um... Why is... What? Why is there a ring of fire? And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. I am... Utterly baffled. <laughs> Shit. Okay, that's the darkness. I think it's passing me by. I think it's passing me by. I don't think I knew it was here. Okay, we're safe for another night. <laughs> Preparations right You motherfucker! Oh, they are really trying to get me today. Okay, this place sucks. It's almost morning. It's almost morning. Come on. You can hold. You can hold. It can't hold. They're in. Okay, just fend them off! Just need to fend them off! One more effort! Come on, you son of a bitch! Get them! Die! Oh, come on! Oh, damn it! I almost got him! Oh! Damn it! Okay, we're gonna need to rethink our hiding strategy because that did not work at all. Hey, what's up, buddy? Suddenly, he starts to move quicker as if looking for something in his pockets. He takes out a piece of charcoal and starts writing on his palms. There's no way out of here, brother. He shows me what he's written, then wipes it with his sleeve and continues scribbling. We're stuck with each other. After making sure I've also read the second sentence, the man takes out a full tank of gasoline from his sack. He places it on the floor next to me. What, what a legend. What a legend, dude. I really wish you sold a second toolkit so I could get the hell out of here, but that's fine. Right, reputation's up to 170. That's not enough to really buy anything meaningful. We're still gonna be waiting. I want that shovel blade so I can go back and see what the hell is in the basement of that house. So thank you very much, man. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the time freeze as an opportunity to rethink my defenses. Something went horribly wrong. So having redone my defenses, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep these lamps off, right? Like that. 
And then tonight, we're going to have the generator on, but these lamps off, and we'll stick to this little room here. And we will block off this window with this wardrobe, which will stop any light getting out, so they shouldn't know I'm here. Hopefully. I don't know if it's going to work. Pray for me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's get ready to go visit old Wolfie boy in his new camp. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Trader. <laughs> Thank you for freezing time for me, Mr. Trader. It's time I go visit the big bad wolf again. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? I hope the Yay! What the hell was that? Hello? Something bad is in the back of that truck. I'm morbidly curious. This might be our first death. Okay, what? Ooh. Is it dead? Ooh. Okay, I think I killed it. I don't know what it was. But it, whatever it was, it's very dead now. Oh my god, it was a red jumper. That's huge. Okay. Okay. Uh, and there's a chest in here. Did I bring a lockpick? Yes, I did. <laughs> Everything is coming up, Iceman. Weapon parts. Another toolbox. All right. Wolf's going to have to wait for another day. Sorry, Wolf. Sorry. I got an upgrade! Woo! Dude, that is huge! That is absolutely massive! What an amazing start! Alright. Up in here. Now we can upgrade this again. Please tell me I don't need... Yes! Which unlocks uh, light armor. What the hell is, is that? Like scales? A single shot shotgun. A sickle. Which isn't very good because it doesn't interrupt... I mean, attacks, but also a shovel. We can now make a shovel. We have a branch, so that's fine. Cool. Right. This is phenomenal progress. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's store some of this crap. Steering wheel. Uh, weapon parts. Nails. Wood. Hill. Rag. Shiny. Like shiny. And fuel. All right. Quickly cook up the meat, and then we still have plenty of time to go visit Wolf. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Oh. Huh? Okay, we're at some sort of silo. I mean, silos make me think of rockets. I think we've done this before. A long, long time ago. Isn't there a crazy guy in here? Why is there a headless... Uh... Hello? Oh, it's a mannequin. Jesus Christ, I thought there was a headless woman here. Okay. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was very close. That would have poisoned us. Where is... Shuckle Brother Fam? Uh. Huh. I thought there was supposed to be a dude in here. Lovely. I have a dead rat. Times two. Don't know what I'm going to use those for. But I'm definitely not going to eat them. What a bizarre location. I could have sworn there was like a... A dude in this place. I guess not. Weird. I just heard a gunshot. Uh... That's all I have to report right now. I just heard a gunshot. Okay. Onward and upward. We're still coming, Mr. Wolf. Be patient. <laughs> He's gonna eat me. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a doggy. It was just it was just a bit of tree. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> I don't I don't like this silent forest, dude. This place is awful. Oh, look at that. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go break it. Hang on. And bam! We'll come back later. There's a generator in there. Wait, what? Wait, what? Huh? I look and smile at these dismember heads. Seems we've been here for quite some time. I really shouldn't be going in here without a weapon. I need to turn on the power to use the lever. Yeah, okay, we'll be back. Yeah, uh-uh. <laughs> we... <laughs> We'll be back! Uh, this is not something that we need to do right now. Nope. We're gonna go talk to Mr. Snuffles, also known as Wolf. Don't tell him I called him Mr. Snuffles. He'd probably eat my nuts for breakfast. And then we're heading back home so I can actually make a goddamn weapon. Mr. Wolf! Is that your house? Oh, that's Piatrek's house. Oh, that's the guy! Oh my god, hang on. We're gonna go visit Piatrek first. <laughs> I got like hyper excited and like, oh, it's Piatrek! Yay! Piatrek! This looks like a scrap metal warehouse. The walls are covered in fungus spider webs. Very stuff in here. I don't care. Where's my friend? I'm gonna search his crate first and steal the stuff before I introduce myself. I'm not coming out until that beast lurking in my garage is gone. Okay, well, uh, we'll be back, Piatrev. Have a lovely day. Lovely, lovely day. Yes, I need to go get a weapon. I need to go get a gun. I need to go get a weapon so I can shoot that thing. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Okay, hey. I can smell your stench from far away meat. Okay, sorry, I thought I heard something breathing, but it was just you. I'll be damned. I barely believe my beautiful eyes. You made it. I need to admit you're quite a resourceful piece of meat. The wolf smiles, revealing a row of sharp teeth. Time to get into specifics. Follow the path located in the southwestern edge of the sun forest. You'll get to the village where you'll find a hag or eats chickens. Talk to her. Maybe you'll find something interesting. Be on your guard, comrade. Don't let her deceive you with that kind of face of hers. A selfish bitch is keeping something that does not belong to her behind the locked door in her house. Some of them after. Bring me the key to that door, and I'll tell you where to find the thing you lost. It's fair, comrade. Key for a key? Take off, get to work. All right, well, before we do that, uh, mister, I need a pipe. Our reputation with him is currently 10, which isn't ideal. I need a pipe, I need a flashlight. He will buy my meat. <sighs> We're not gonna be able to get anything from him today. Damn it, I need that battery. I mean, that's what, oh well. Okay, we'll do it, we'll do it. It's not ideal. Also buy two nails. It's not the best deal in the world. I guess we'll also do this. If I can get more nails, because nails are very important to me right now in order to actually craft a weapon. Which is kind of important. Thanks, Wolf. Gossip. I wouldn't recommend wandering around these woods at night. It means certain death for you, me. Better hide and then hide out of yours before dark and pray for the morning light. Right? I'd avoid getting in trouble if I were you, me. At least until you get a decent weapon. Working on it. Looks like no one else will enlighten you. Listen, inhabitants of our lovely village hold many, many secrets. Secrets they do not wish to share with anyone. Those selfish, deceitful wretches. They think they're superior because they have human gobs. They treat us like lepers. But you know what? Fuck them. We're buddies, aren't we? And them, they deserve to be punished, me. The wolf moves closer to me. Hear that squealing? It's one of their secrets. The wolf grins, listening to the distant sound with great relish. Find that pig shed, mate. Take the quit squealing stop, and the treasure will be yours. All right, we got two missions from this guy. We got to investigate the southwest, because there's some sort of path down here. We also need to deal with the pig shed. All right, we're gonna head back home. It is 1336. We have six hours to return home, and we have no weapons or armor, or defenses of any kind. So, run as fast as we can, question mark? Yeah, that seems a bit of a plan. Uh, let's go. Shit. 
Oh god! Ah! Shit, we're running! We have no weapons! God damn it! Pull away, Billy! Billy! <laughs> Billy! You stupid bastard! I'm pretty sure you're the one who bit that trap bag! I didn't even see it! He just. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh well. I'm sure he'll be fine. Someday. Right. We're gonna duck back into. I hate this section, dude. We're gonna duck back into it. Head... Damn it. I don't know where that dog is, dude. Okay. Head over to the right. Head in here. There's an egg in here that we didn't. Huh? Oh, I... Hey there, friend. Hi there, friend. Hi. In the west, hideout. Uh-huh. Look for an exit beneath the floor. In the last hideout. Look for... In the last hideout, look for an exit beneath the floor. Is he... Talking about... The one in Dry Meadow. An exit beneath the floor? Okay, no, I'm very confused because we searched all of Dry Meadow. And there was no exit beneath the floor. What the hell is he talking about? So the last hideout could either mean the one that we were just at in Dry Meadows or the last hideout in the entire game. I don't know which one he means. We could always go back to Dry Meadows. God, I really want to further the, the story, but we, we probably should go back to Dry Meadows and have a look, right? At least tomorrow. We'll, we'll spend one day doing that. It's, it's worth it. I hope it's not a, a wild goose chase. Man, from having absolutely no wood early game to utterly swimming in the stuff now. We we're killing it. Obviously, there's still a fair bit of work to be done here, but it's going well. I reckon we have a good chance of surviving the Silent Forest. Silent Forest is generally where the deaths start rolling in, so... Have we died at all? Yeah, in this place? I don't think we've died yet. We're doing great! All right. It's time to see if my plan works or if it was a dud from the start. Am I a genius? Or am I about to have my first death in Darkwood? Stay tuned to find out and don't forget to like and subscribe if you're still watching right now. Yeah. So I had to do the classic YouTube stuff, you know? Damn it. Okay, we got a little bit of light bleeds. That's fine. I, the light bleeds only from my lantern. Well, that's already a terrible start. I can hear someone breaking in. Okay. Yep. Plans a bust. We tried. We tried. Here we go. Fight fighting time. Alright. Bloody ah! God dang it. I can't see you because the freaking lamp's in the wrong place. There we go. Come on. There we go. Your stick has so much range! I am not using my gun on you, my friend. There we go. God bless America. Okay. Eat the pill. Heal up. We're good. God damn you hurt, buddy. What the shit? I don't have enough nails to repair that door, so we're we're gonna have you God damn it! Why? Oh no. I really need to move this lamp position, dude. This, this sucks. I literally can't see anything when that door swings open, which is super lame. I'm using the lamp to block the door. Big brain move. Okay, uh, do I have any more healing? I do not. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? Oh! 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 Huh? What? Huh? Um... Okay. 
It's one more hour. This is fine. Oh, he's back on. That wasn't me that made that. Okay, the darkness is here. We're fighting though. It's 6 a.m. But the darkness has found us. That's not great. Uh, I might spend the night in dry, dry meadows tomorrow. Because this place sucks. Go away! Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We survived. God, that was a stressful night, and my plan didn't work at all! <laughs> Hi, buddy. I will get to you in just a second. I need to go turn off a generator. So now we can buy the handgun frame. We can buy... And, and, and importantly, we can buy either the axe or the shovel? I think we're gonna go shovel. And... Oh, God damn it, he doesn't have enough room in his inventory. What's something cheap I can take from you? Because that's minus 800. I need something that's like... Super low value. <laughs> uh, oh, you son of a biscuit. Why don't you sell anything cheap? Progress. So now we can get this and we can get the shovel. We can trade him the metal, and the gasoline for it. Bam. Beautiful. Right. So now we can craft two very good weapons. How much is this? A hundred. Oh, you willy. You're going to make me spend more money. <laughs> God damn you. Oh, that's only worth... Okay, uh, if I'm going to do this, I need to do those or... That's only 35. <sighs> this sucks. Okay, we'll do bread. We'll do bread. Bread bread will work. Okay, so now we have ammunition and we can go back to here. We can very quickly craft a pistol and a shovel. The shovel's going to replace our melee weapon. The pistol's going to be our emergency backup weapon. Board with nails will be retired. Keep small caliber magazine in our inventory. That is freaking amazing. Uh, unfortunately, we need... Oh, I used my tape to make the shove. Did I use my tape to make a shovel? Oh, I did. Okay. So we're going to need to find some tape. We're going to need to find... Rocks. We can find rocks. I know where there are rocks. Sharpened will be good. Another shovel head. Okay, we can only upgrade it twice, so I think we'll save up for another shovel head, and we'll sharpen it. Excellent. Thank you so much, my friend. We, I think, are going to go to the dry meadows today, because we, we could potentially go over here, kill his thing that's in his basement, kill the pig, and progress the wolf and Piatrex missions. But right now, I reckon our priority is to go back to the dry meadow hideout and find out what the hell he means by there being an exit. I'm I have been there a lot. I, okay, you know what? I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go do it. I'm going to go see if what the hell's going on over there. Underneath the last... I don't... Underneath the bed, mate? No. Can't break the beds. I... I mean, this is a good chance for me to grab this chain trap back, but... I don't know... Where the hell it possibly could be? Okay, so there was absolutely nothing in that hideout. But we have a shovel now. So we can actually go to the underground entrance and be absolutely scared out of our willies while we try... Or vaginas, I don't judge. And try to see what's behind that area that needed the shovel to dig. We have plenty of time. We're in the dry meadow already. We may as well get it done, right? Last time we were in here, really, really really bad things happen to us so this is going to be difficult we have a light we have a shovel and more importantly we have a gun i hope this works didn't bring a Molotov, so it's going to be difficult to kill this thing. 
but I have never explored this before. I am curious. Various blocks. Just check your corners. Stay calm. Every little thing. Gonna be alright. Oh, that is disgusting! Okay, I don't know if the thing to dig it out with a shovel is even here anymore. I can't find it. I'm very confused. Where the hell was that? I thought it was this thing, but... I wonder if it gets blocked off permanently in the first section. It's like you're not meant to come here until after you already have a shovel to capitalize on the rewards. Because now there's just... This... And I don't like that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of disgusting. Absolutely nothing down there of value except for that meat. So it was, I'm not going to say it was a complete waste of time. But I'm also not going to say that it was a valuable use of our time. I feel like it was the middle of the road of our time. Grab the stones. I think there should be more stones here that we didn't take. Use them to sharpen our axe. A shovel. Sorry, we're using the shovel, not an axe. There we go. All right, we need one more stone. Cool. Let's giggity, 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 giggity. Get the hell out of here. What we're going to do, because we still have an hour. I think we need the steering wheel, a fan belt, a tire, and a battery. We're going to go visit Piotrev, clear out his, his garage, and have a chit-chat with him. Because uh, I'm pretty sure he wants this stuff. Can't remember what he gives us for a reward. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wants this stuff, so we're gonna go do that now. This gives us something to do while we wait for nighttime to come and inevitably kill us because my defenses are crap! Oh, yeah! Embryo number two! I totally forgot we left this one here. My shovel took a quarter of its health and damage from one hit? My brother in Christ, what? Okay, we're gonna need to be very careful with that then. Gee, oh, hello. Jesus. Uh, nice. All right, let's go chat with Piotr. All right, Piotr, I am here to save you from the horrific beast in your garage. What sheer level of monstrosity could drive you to cower and hide? Or whatever it is, it's hiding behind. God damn it! I'm gonna bring stuff for a torch. Well, that sucks. Uh, damn. That really sucks. A uh, doggy. If I uh, open that, you wanna come out? Here, doggy. Come here, puppy. You little shit. Okay, I picked up some meat from the pots. I might be able to lure the doggy out with that. So let's, where the hell did it go? I didn't pick it up. <laughs> this is going great. I'm also hearing things. Come get the meat, doggy. Come on. Don't make me come in there after you, you son of a bitch. There he is, okay. Sorry about this, Mr. Fluffy. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hi! I'm gonna get on. I'm gonna my gun. Two shots. Excellent. That was a fantastic test of the, the, the use of my gun. Heotev, if you're not happy with me now, you never will be. Beautiful. Hey, buddy. Oops. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Little voice from <clears throat> Holmes, I didn't hear you come in. Boy's eyes are wandering around the room. I've heard this wiggly metal thing yesterday. It was laying in the grass. I don't like grass. It's so slippery and it tickles your feet. Rather than grass, I would prefer these metal wigglies, yes. 
The metal antennas on his wiry hat suddenly start vibrating. Do you have any metal wigglies? Uh, I have a battery. A hybrid rocket engine. Wow, this will fit perfectly in my rocket. Have you seen it? Have you seen my rocket? It's almost as pretty as Kakarin's. Well, almost. I just need to find some parts and it will be completely ready. Would you bring them to me? The other parts. I will then fly to space into the moon, into Mars, to Jupiter, to the sun. I mean, I would land at night. The boy suddenly looks into my eyes. Look for old tractors. You'll find the missing pieces for my rockets in them. Here's a fan belt. Hold door frame stabilizer. Only two more to go. Steering wheel. Trajectory guidance system. I only need one more part. Right. Now, I'm pretty sure we need to go talk to Wolf before we give him the last part. I think Wolf has something important to say. Uh, so, real quick. We got 350 reputation with him. 400. I need... Uh, having a quick little look. I need his cable. I need... Military flashlight would be banging. Oh! Oh! Do I... Do I get the military flashlight? Or... Do I just go... Ah! This is a really difficult choice! Okay. We're gonna leave... Yeah. We're leaving the military flashlight behind. Let's go through some gossip, buddy. So we have about four hours left before night falls. It's not a lot of time. We're gonna quickly talk to Wolf after... Oh, shit. I can't... Oh, I don't have a ball. No. No, 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 no. Hey, uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, do you have... Okay. Uh, he, he does. Okay, excellent. Minus 44. Here, you can have a trap and an antidote. And two matchsticks. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Yeah. So the reason we need this is because although we lured the wolf out and shot him in the face... Sorry, wolf. We are still going to head in here because I'm pretty sure I see a chest. Yes, I do. Also, mushrooms! Mushrooms are very important! Shortcut to what? Mushrooms! I've uh, got blueprint for his, ro <laughs> for his rocket, a free toolbox, and some nails. All right. If we can't use that toolbox, because I don't know what our workbench requires to upgrade next. There's also one here. Uh, but if we can't use that toolbox, that's still a lot of reputation points, which is really nice. Gasoline, matchsticks, and we'll leave the alcohol. So we don't need the alcohol. Fantastic. Thank you, Piotr. I will be right back after I go have a conversation with a certain Mr. Snuffles. Oh, no, 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 no. No, please leave me alone. Please, Mr. Moose, please. Please, 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 please. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Oh, thank God, Wolf. Oh, did you see the size of that moose? Hey. Yes, me. Uh, show I, um, tire. You've gathered some junk to show me. You excel yourself, me. Ha ha ha, you're not telling me you're gathering junk for the nutcase. Uh, you just have a lot of free time. Wolf suddenly stops, remains silent for a moment, and his eyes open a split second continues. Hold on a second, I have this absolute freaking lootly brilliant idea. Give me that piece of junk for a moment. Wolf turns his back to me and starts tinkering with the part for Piotr. After a moment, he hands it back to me. That will work like it should, thanks to my DIY abilities. I'm actually increase the kick on this baby by 200%. One has to help his neighbor, right, me? Run to Pifter and give it to him. Just don't for forget to wave him goodbye before his flight. There we go. Okay. And we head back to Pietre. We have three hours before night time. Hopefully we can get this all done and get back to our base on time. This is going to be really tight. Hey, Beatrix! Here you go! Here's your tire! This rocket chassis! Yay! Finally, I have everything I need. Go on your way now. Go now, please. I need to install these parts to my beautiful rocket. And then we Off I go! I wave to you when I'm on my way to where no man has been before. Wait, he gave me items, but I didn't get them. Well, that's unfortunate. Are they in the workbench? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Where? He gave me like a welder, right? It said he gave me a welder. Where is it? 
Oh, you son of a... Damn it. Okay, so I only got the weapon parts. I didn't get the welder. Night is coming. I have no choice but to leave. Uh, if I'm going to make it back on time. I'm going to come back here tomorrow. Maybe it'll be there, but I really need that welder for the upgrades. That sucks, dude. Really? God damn it. Yeah, so we definitely didn't get the welder. We got the weapons parts. We got the cables. Definitely no welder, which sucks because that's what we needed to upgrade. So we are going to need to go back there tomorrow. Maybe he dropped on the floor. Who knows? Anyway, uh, I don't know if he's actually going to be using his rocket tonight. I heard like a rump. Lightning. As if I couldn't be possibly more terrified. I think we're good. I think our defenses are holding this time. I don't think they know exactly where we are. Shit. They know where we are. That sucks. Okay, dude just walked straight in. That did not block anything. <laughs> Damn it, wardrobe. Be better. <sighs> not my door. I just fixed that. There's something out there. I don't know what that is. Okay, as soon as he comes in, pop him twice. Then we're going to see what the hell that is. <laughs> He's in there. Yeah, I still haven't gotten the invitation to the wedding, so I don't know what the deal with that is. Oops. Oh. Hi, friend. Rest and peps. So we still have no idea who the hell is knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. But, oh yeah, I, I don't keep the lantern there anymore because that's... The hell was... No! No! Oh, go! Get, no! Get! Ew! Oh, you're disgusting! Ah! No! Okay, we're barricading this window tomorrow. We're figuring out some other way to defend this place. Jesus Christ, this game is stressful. Right. Hey, buddy. Another morning survived. Another day to die. So, we've really got to go back to Pietrek's house today and chat with Wolf, because I need that welder. The welder's why I need to upgrade this workshop, and if it's not there, I'm probably going to cry. Like live you're going to hear <laughs> from my, my microphone i know that's not me being a man and having accidentally stubbed my toe or sat in my testicles like i did in the scp 5k no in the slay the princess video it will be me crying because i missed the goddamn welder i need that upgrade i want that armor it's going to help so much for survivability <gasps> yeah beauty there we go, we got it. We got the welder. That is our upgrade secured. I really thought this would have opened up our access to this crate. Oh, I, do I have, did I bring a lockpick? I didn't bring a lockpick, okay. Well, I need to, I need to come back here and do that. Oh no, did Pietrek? Pietrek? Buddy? Buddy? What have I done? It was because I went to Wolf! Oh, shit! No! Wolf, you psycho son of a- Pietrek was like the only friendly person in this bloody game, and I've killed him. I need to go have a word with Wolf. All right, Wolf, you owe me some answers, buddy. Hey. Yes, me? Me? <laughs> Fucking hell, seen that? <laughs> seen that? <laughs> Off he flew, didn't he? Off he f <laughs> He attracted the cosmonauts now on the moon! <laughs> the rocket worked like a charm, didn't it? Good that we managed to make a couple of quick innovations at the last morning. <laughs> Helping others meet. Is there a better feeling? Oh, what an explosion that was. Effing boom. It's still ringing in my ears. Pity that you weren't here to see the fireworks. I don't even get reputation for that! I'm just a bad person! Wolf has asked me to bring him a key to the locked room in the house of the hag that reeks of chicken in exchange for this favor he helped me retain my key. 
I guess I'm going to the southwestern edge of Silent Forest. I also need to kill the piggy thingy, but I want to get some... I want, I want to get a Molotov for that, because I'm assuming this piggy thingy is going to be tough as nails. God damn it, Piatrek! Get the hell out of here, you freak. Oh. Okay. So in the pig pen, there's a lever here that connects to power that then goes in here? What the hell is that noise? What is this pig? Okay. We got some pigs. Oh, okay, we got another guy here. So if the wolf wants me to kill this pig, he's gonna need to come up with a really good, uh... I mean, he's offered to give me stuff for it, which I guess is kind of a good reason. But he's gonna need to come up with a better reason, because I don't want to just go around murdering people. Yeah. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, is this the path to... We're coming very close to... Yeah, the road to the village. We're coming very, very close to the limit of my knowledge on this game. Uh, I th I'm pretty sure the village was roughly where we stopped last time and I never continued. Okay, time freezes when we're in the village. I remember that. So... Let's have an explore and enjoy ourselves while we can. Ooh! Hey! Hey, free loot! Awesome. Hi, missus. I want to serve you for this time of year. So, uh, the chicken lady, does the chicken lady live in the village? I don't actually remember. I guess she must, because this is the southwestern edge of the woods. There is a crate over here. Hi. Woman stares at the ground with a dead look. Oh. Oh. That's her. That's the chicken lady. You can tell because she has a million chickens. The wooden floor is sticky with chicken feces and feathers. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. <laughs> she just disappeared there, dude. Jesus. The old lady squints at me, her eyes full of suspicion. She hugs her chickens possessively. Well, keep them hands off me hands, you bloody scoundrel. The old lady puts one of the hands to her ear, mumbling on her breath. After a moment, she calms down. I've seen my share of things, lived through many a war, but nothing like this, Lord be my witness. This accursed land ain't a place for man, ain't a place for hands. Okay, here's a plastic chick. Bells, bells, where'd you get it? Where'd you find it? The old lady seems disturbed. The hands fell silent. I could feel the tension in the air. Holy mother is Janet's little hand. A gift for me, my little brother. A couple of days ago, he got mad. I told him, stay. You're not one of them brainy fellas, you know nothing. But he wouldn't listen, and off he went to that other fella. Here, take this. You went to see this fella? See him? He never came back. That's the doctor. I think? Maybe? Yeah, full of the doctor. The woman trembles violently. The hand on her shoulder struggles to maintain balance. You're all I have, my little sisters. Thank the Lord for our show. Poor thing seems sickly, but she's more laughing her than a lot of us, if you ask me. So... I think... We're gonna... What the hell? Poor Haniska has lost her mind. Her fella knocked her up with this abomination. Even the mongrels tucked their tails and yelped when they saw it. I tell you. Poor soul, they burned her fella with the shack and took the horror somewhere. Everyone got the jitters, little wonder. What the hell? Holy mother, this creep again. May the devil take him and his blasted violin. The old lady turns around and starts to scream. Devil f your mother, get away from me, house! Okay, Jesus Christ. Hi. Oh, we need to come back here with an empty inventory. Okay, we will return to the village. Tomorrow, I, 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 I oh God, my lantern's still being used. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Sorry, mom. Tomorrow we will return here. We will get all organized with a nice, fresh, clean inventory. We will come back to the village. Apparently the pig is how these guys get their food. So I'm not too inclined to kill it until I'm finished in the village in case everyone turns hostile. So that's the way we're going to do things. Let's head back home. Okay, upgrade workshop. Um, phenomenal. Now we can build the armor. Now... I think the armor needs to be on our hotbar. 
for it to be equipped. Don't at me in the comments if I'm an idiot, because I'm pretty sure that's the way it's meant to be. And now we can also build uh, the axe. No, no, I can't. Holy shit, I still can't build the axe. Jesus Christ, what do I need to build an axe? I really need to get more fabric so that I can upgrade my hotbar and my inventory. So those have got to be priorities for me. But for now, I reckon we just chill, wait for night, and take it as it comes. So I will start reinforcing everything, make sure we're all good to go for the night. See you guys in a bit. All right, nighttime has fallen. I took the time to start the long and slow process of getting an extra lamp over to our base, but unfortunately, did not finish on time. So we will... Take this night as it comes and pray to the lords I've always denied that this doesn't F us. By the way, that is a saying I have had for years. Pray to the gods I've always denied. And nobody knows the reference. It's really surprising because back in my day, I know I sound really old right now, but back in my day, that was a super popular song. So... Yeah, well, there we go. Anyway, uh, what's a more important matters, I guess? Oh, are you kidding me immediately? I don't know what he's busting down or where he is. So I forgot to cook my meat. Why is he busting down? That sounds so distant. Whatever he was busting down, he broke it. Nothing looks broken, though. Oh. What is he breaking? There's... He's right here, but not... What? Oh, what? Jesus Christ! Where did you come from? right to my jaw god bless america <laughs> holy crap dude okay yeah you you suck you suck all right i'm gonna drag this up to here and uh oh okay there's someone there well they just broke my bathtub okay come on buddy come on come get some comes that door just opened come on buddy what's that noise yeah, there's fireflies outside there he is oh god damn it i was trying to lure him through i wasn't trying to get hit there we go we are What is that noise? Okay, sorry. I'm really curious. This is a stupid idea. I don't know what that noise is. Oh! Hey! Odd looking glowing mush. Uh. That's not normal. Mr. Lamp, are you okay? <laughs> Um. <laughs> okay. I can definitely confirm the wardrobe over the window trick just doesn't work. I'm gonna do the wardrobe over the door instead of the wardrobe over the window, because goddammit, every time they just walk straight in. <laughs> it sucks, okay? It sucks. God damn it. Okay, another night survived though. Let's go ahead and <gasps> Fearful. We're going to be fearful. And we can either be runner, third eye, or acid blood. I think we're going to go acid blood. My blood will hurt enemies. Confirm. Okay. Here we are. 
dream have we got in store for us tonight? There's a bell. Sound still resonates inside this mossy bell. There's a church. Bunch of seats. Are those seats? I think those are graves. I don't think those are seats. Stand in line. Standing in line to see the show tonight. And there's a light on. Heavy glow. By the way, I tried to say that I know you. From before. Oh, that's eerie. Where the hell are you going? See, there's a line. Who do you think you are? I don't know what's going on here. I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, a formidable weapon, an axe, and a strange box. Weird. Oh, that's not good. Hi! A red seesaw! A white dress! Black box for my girls. A red seesaw. A white dress. Oh god, oh, my stamina is not doing well. Black. Oh, black box for my girls. We need to build an axe, dude. That weapon is absolutely amazing. Uh. Well. Wait, what's with the big eyes? Scared? Bad dream? Why are you here? I have the strange box now! Oh, it's one of these. The wolf grabs a box and starts sniffing it from every angle. I could swear I've heard his tail moving under his tail is wagging? An interesting find me. Guess you... Guess now you want to know what's inside. Somewhere in the northeastern part of the old woods lies a place you'll find the key to this box. Well, me, I would be careful if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to open it by yourself. Bring me the key and don't try to be a wise guy. You won't know what to do with it. Interesting. Well, well, I know this quack. A non-entity, a third-rate witch doctor. Useless freaking clunker. We still managed to screw you over that key, eh? Interesting. Still has no reputation. Okay, well, we're going to sell a bunch of stuff today anyway. We don't need... Uh, well, actually, we don't need three freaking staffs. Store the wood, store that, store the nails. I'm going to sell the lantern and make a new one. And we are going to sell the meats. We are going to sell the... Uh, what was it? Oh, the, the toolbox. A little bit of gasoline. Two dead rats. Bottle. And some rags. That should make us a decent chunk of change. Oh, shit. My armor broke last night. Oh, I just got that. That was brand new armor. <laughs> All right. We're going to head to the village. We're gonna... Okay, yeah, don't open the carts. We're gonna head to the village. We are going to deal with the chicken lady. Shit, you mother... Come on, you. Deal with the chicken lady. And then when we leave the village, pockets stuffed full of all their loot, I'm gonna kill the pig. Because one lady there begged me to do it. And that is all the, uh, all the permission I need to sentence a lot of people to die, <laughs> apparently. Oh, shit. A free knife. Okay, that's... Oh, oh, it was a trap. It was a trap. It was a trap. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. There's two of them. I don't know where the second one went. It's one. Wait, I think the second one ran away. We're good. We're leaving. Jesus. Wait. No, we're not leaving. I just found a... There's so much. I meant to be going to the village today. Stop providing me with luck. A key. A chest key. I've never seen this place before. There's a, two magazines. I didn't open that. That opened by itself. 
Nope. 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 Sorry, buddy. You really shouldn't have opened the door if you didn't want me to pull out my gun. You should have kept the element of surprise, friend. You silly bass. <gasps> Holy shit. Okay. Okay. That's amazing. We need to head back to base right now. Uh, I feel, I do feel kind of bad for that guy, but you know what? <laughs> His loss is my game. Two magazines, fabric. That is an insane load. That is, mm. Castle Doctrine didn't help that mother fluffer. Right, we're gonna do the inventory upgrade. I do need the hot bar upgrade, but more inventory space is far, far more important at this point. We've got a toolbox to sell. I'm gonna put away two of the magazines and I'm, my freaking thing is full. Holy crap. Uh, huh. That, I didn't expect that. I, I, this, this is new to me. Okay, we'll take the torch. I hate the fact that I keep hearing people walking in the house when there's no one there. And I think we're good to go. Let's repair shovel. And let's try again to get to the village. This time without being distracted by a shiny, amazing cottage full of brilliant loot. Where's my meat? I should get two kilos for, of meat for this month. Antec won't save you this time. You hear me? Give me the effing meat. What on the earth is happening here? I'm gonna go see what's going on in the meat area. Hello? There's a lady asking for meats? Get away from my home. There is no more meat. The soul is starving. She gives no pigs. Get or I'll let Antec this. Who is Antec? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I have suddenly decided I don't want to know who Antec is. Jesus. I mean, there's a lot of pigs just roaming around. Surely you could just slaughter a few of these, right? Hey. Trees. Okay. Trees humming beautifully. Solution for removing intestinal parasites. Pour the petroleum over the nuts. Add propolis. Propolis. Put away for a couple of days. Drink one tablespoonful per day. Wait, 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 wait. What? So we're talking... Metal. Nuts. Right? Pour petroleum over the nut. Oh, no, 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 no. Like food nuts. Jesus Christ. Drinking a tablespoon of petrol a day to cure intestinal... That... That doesn't sound healthy. That, that sounds decidedly unhealthy, actually. Hello? What the f*** is that? Okay. Someone had a really bad day. A thermometer. Right? I don't like that. I really don't like that. Uh, weapon parts. I like that though. So long, sucker. <laughs> the villagers turn their heads away from me. I don't think I'm welcome here. Well, I wonder what gave that impression. Maybe because I'm stealing all their stuff. Uh, okay. This place looks disturbing. I can't wait to explore in here. Okay. I can still hear that guy from next door, which is really disturbing me. Oh, why is this place? Oh. Okay. I can hear you. Hear you. Uh huh. We're gonna close that and we're gonna pretend we never saw any of that. So long. I wonder if eating the pigs is what's turning these villagers into these things. 
There's definitely, like, something's definitely happening here. An old destroyed wealth. Find a long sturdy rope or chain. I should be able to do this. <gasps> I do have a chain. I'll need to come back here. I think we're going to be coming back here tomorrow again. Uh, I don't think we'll be doing the chicken lady today or the pig today because I'm worried that's going to stop me from completing any of this stuff. I want to see what's at the bottom of the well. What do you want? Uh, what is inside this hole? I can barely make out a silhouette. It looks like a grown man with long, disheveled hair. Is uh, so quite a wide tunnel? There's finger marks in the ground? Where does this go? Uh, huh? This man has dug a tunnel to my house! From the village? I don't know if I should be impressed or terrified! Okay, well, that's useful for me because I can take this chain. I don't know if, like, that's going to give me problems later on. Like, are they going to invade my home? I don't know, but we're going to store the logs in here. Beautiful. And we're, we're going to go back in the hole. <laughs> I want to go see what's at the bottom of the well. I've never done that before. Thank you, hole man. You've done me a great service this day. I'm trying to see what's at the bottom of the well that these people don't want me to find out about. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Marching flares. I don't like this. Stick figures. Okay, there's definitely something here. Mushrooms. Okay. That's always a good thing to find. Some more upgrade points. A red chomper. I know that noise. That noise not good. Okay. Uh, I think we're gonna use flares. Give us light. Should have brought a lantern. There it is. Wait, didn't we? Wasn't there a doll in that woman's burnt down house as well? And they were talking about children being born m m mutated. Does that mean these red chompers are children? Didn't I burn one of them alive with a molot- I burned one alive with two Molotov cocktails. I remember this distinctly because it was inside a truck. I mean, I didn't know, like, so I'm not a bad per person for that, right? I couldn't have known. There was no way. There was no way I could have known. Uh, I mean, they were trying to kill me. So is self-defense? Does this go? Where the hell am I? I don't like this place already. This place is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Found a dog tag and plastic chicks. Is this? The, huh? Where the hell? I'm I'm still in the village because time is frozen still. But where? <laughs> A key covered in chicken piece. Where am I? Oh, we're back here. 
Interesting. A shiny stone has been pressed into the mud covered head. I will take the stone. Carefully remove the stone. I mean, the stone's worth 50. I'm, I'm obviously going to take that. <laughs> There's only two things left to do here now, I think. I want to see what's inside this compound. And then I think we're going to go have a chit chat with the chicken lady. I think it's, I think it'll be time to finish off the chicken lady side of things. Then it's time to finish off the pig. Then it's time to go home. Clear. Clear. Why was this place locked? Brick oven used to break, bake, bake bread. Okay, so this was a baker's home for a while then. Oh, damn it. Two lockpicks this area cost. There better be a reward for them. This. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. There are so many. Why are there so many? Why are... What the hell happened here? Okay. I guess I'll be back here when I find a key. What's in here? That, that door was locked, but there was just an open window right next to it, so... Who the hell are you? Uh... Don't worry about it. I'm your friendly neighborhood ice man. Everyone likes me. Yar har fiddly dee. Being a pirate's alright with me. Do what you want to pirates free. Uh, cooked mince meat. He's cooking people. He's killing people. And cooking them for food. Holy shit. You okay with me? A meat grinder. More metal pipes and more tape. Okay, thanks, buddy. Uh, I don't know if I want to grab this. I mean, our inventory is full. We need to head back to base again. Jesus, there's so much loot in the village. Okay. Uh, hmm. This is going to be a really rough juggling session here. I need to get everything in here that's not important out and store it in a cupboard or something that's not going to get broken at night so I can keep the important stuff in here. So let's do this. Three hours later. Okay, I've done as good a job as I can. I've got an empty inventory again. This might be the last time we go to the village. I know I said that last time, and the time before, and the time before, but this time for sure will be the last time we go to the village, I promise. Hey, chicken lady. Uh. Well, first of all, let's go find out what the hell's going on over here. Hey, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Huh? Hi! It's not my fault. I know it doesn't sound too great. My violin is a bit broken. I won't play anymore. Sorry. Have you been in that hut? The chicken lady's hot. You're not afraid of her? You're very brave. Have you seen her? The pretty lady? She's the most beautiful lady in the world. I watch her through the cracks in the window. She changes when I watch her. Gets more beautiful. I play for her. Okay, that's kind of creepy, kids. She keeps her there. She envies her. She won't allow anyone to see her, even me. She knows very well that during the last Kapala night, I fished out the pretty lady's wreath from the river. Yes, sir. The chicken lady knows what it means. Oh, yes. I will become the pretty lady's husband. We will walk hand in hand, sir. I will play for her, sir. I tried to release her, but chicken lady chased me off. She always does. Also, I look for a second key. I don't know how to get to his house. Nod. So kind. So very kind. You're just like him, my daddy. But Papa has changed, mister. Just like mommy. They will not listen to me. They won't hear how sad I am. 
Oh, but I'm not boring you, sir. Please don't go. Please hear me out. Don't go. Perhaps you could help me? Please find the key to this pretty lady's room. The chicken lady has it. Jan also has it. She used to play with me. We threw rocks into the well and I looked at her reflection making silly faces. Daddy used to say not to do it, else my face will stay that way. Now the water in the well is always hazy. It shows these weird images. The well's here in the village. I already did that. I, I already did that. Uh, have you heard about the soul? The villagers keep the soul in a nearby pig shed. They call it the mother of all pigs. They say it's beautiful, but I've never seen it. They won't let me near her. They always chase me off. Maybe you'll be able to see her, mister? If I managed to get inside, maybe we can take a wee piece of meat for me. I've never eaten a pig, and I've heard it's very... This place is very, very weird. What did Wolf want me to do? He wanted me to bring him the key to the locked room. I have the key. I guess I will give that to Wolf. I... This place gives me the creeps. Hey, chicken lady, I have a couple of things to show you. Uh, first of all... Oh, never mind. I can't. I picked up all those plastic chicks for nothing. Have a lovely day. Guess the question is, do I open this myself and take a look? Or do I just go to Wolf? Is there any harm in just having a peek? I'm gonna do it. Holy shit! <laughs> Definitely no harm in taking a... Okay. Uh, we're gonna drop this here. <gasps> no! Cover me, please. What is that? Sorry, I need the fabric more than you do. I'm sorry. I can't lock the door again. Oh. Whoa, that's not good. Okay, I'm gonna go give this key to Wolfman and uh, then uh, kill, a, kill a pig and get the hell out of here permanently. There's something wrong with these people. Something very, very wrong. I'll do a hot bar upgrade because carrying something extra on my hot bar is always going to be useful. The uh, space is more than a luxury at this point. It's a goddamn catastrophe, dudes. <laughs> There's none of it. This is getting apocalyptic. You know what? You know what? I bet Wolfman would really like these jars of meat and the bones. I bet he'd buy them for a pretty penny. I don't think he'd be interested in the eggs though. The eggs can safely stay here. Right, we have just about four hours. Let's take the hole back to the village, then go visit the pig. We should have enough time to swing by the wolfman really fast with the key. Fingers crossed we don't get caught outside at night. Should be okay. I guess it's kind of impossible to tell if I'm doing the right thing here. I don't doubt that these people who are here are going to defend the soul with their lives. And that should say a lot about what I'm about to do. But at the same time, suffer not the abomination to live. I told you, he had it coming. He loved that pig and she ate him. She wouldn't have eaten him if some effort hadn't cut the cables? How in the F didn't he get electrocuted? Who's going to feed it now? It's the only soul in the village. We'll starve if it dies. Hey! Guys! Get over here we'll break your legs! I can't do that. I'm really sorry about this.
Oh, that didn't feel good. Oh, that didn't feel good. Oh, it felt kind of... Kind of mean. Uh... Okay. Okay, I think I just single-handedly made myself the enemy of everybody in existence. Hey, friend. Sorry about this. Sorry. Sorry. It's nothing personal. I swear. Uh... God, this one. I don't like this place. Some mushrooms, of course. There's mushrooms in every goddamn place. I just... I want to get out of this place, dude. It's not okay. It is not okay. Oh. Holy shit. That's the soul? Yeah, uh, no more reservations. That thing has to die. Okay, we are really running out of time here. Time is a luxury we don't have. Okay, here we go. Where is he? There he is. Sorry, friend. Sorry. I am completely out of time. Here we go. Mirror talk? Wait, what? You are one ugly bastard. I guess you got what you deserved. What? Switch on the generator. And then we'll pull the lever. Various cables, precision contraptions, some of them run through the door to the outside. There's a lever and a red button and panel. Motion range of the lever is limited by the provisionally attached plate. And no, it's glued to the casing. Set the voltage using the lever. The lock is set to voltage that paralyzes the sofa around 15 seconds. Procedure. The lever operator positions it in the middle. The feeder gives a sound signal. The operator then pushes the button. The feeder feeds the soul. Repeat until feeding is complete. Do not remove the lock. Well, <laughs> I'm going to remove the lock, haven't I? <laughs> I've removed the lock. Position the lever down. The machine is set to maximum power. I'm about to consign an entire village to death. Right now. And I couldn't be happier. The machine is working, but nothing happens. A crackling sound behind the door. Short circuit. Hey, what? Ow! Oh! Generator's running. It's not a good idea to test these cables. Okay. Well, I gotta come back here with, I guess, cables? That sucks. <laughs> Hang on, let's examine these real quick. Uh, link to the pig shed. Build. Yeah, so I need a cable. I have a cable back at base. We need to run for our goddamn lives. We are out of time. I have taken way too long on this. Okay, 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 okay. We are here. It's gonna be okay. Holy Jesus. Bam. All right. We're settling in for the night. Here's hoping it's not a long one. Please, God, don't let it be a long one. Close this door. Oh, get out of the way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, listen. Oh, Jesus. It is a very quiet night. Oh, I had to say something. What is that? I can't see. Whatever it is, it's coming in. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, we're doing this. I got broke my cupboard. Bastard. Here we go. Nope. 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 What the hell? Okay, something big's in here. Ah, oh, it's a dog! I'm out of ammo. 
Shit. Oh, shit. This is bad. That was really close. I think... I think we've made it, though. I think we're good. God damn, dude. I do not like this hideout. It sucks. So after the hell that was last night that utterly destroyed my defenses and left me screaming like a little baby, babe, baby, baby, baby. Yeah, a little baby, baby. <laughs> screaming like a baby bitch boy. We are finally going to head over. I got the cable. I did remember. We got it in my inventory. We're going to go over and fry that little piggy good. Uh, I hear a violin. Um. Ah, yeah, you son of a... I should also mention that uh, off camera, I did go ahead and upgrade my shovel. Ow! So it's a little bit stronger. Uh, mostly more durability, so it's not like the biggest thing in the world. But it's enough to keep us alive and fighting for longer, which is very important. Where is this guy? Oh. He's in here now? Buddy? Buddy, we good? Hey. What's up? Boy starts playing and lowers his head, avoiding my sight. Huh? Why is he out here now? I don't want to give him the key. The key's for Wolfman, but why is he... Interesting. He's abandoned his post by the pretty lady. <gasps> because I unlocked the door, did the pretty lady escape? Oh, no. Wolf's not going to be happy with me. This is it right here. Here we are. There's no going back once we do this. This is a one-way trip. So... I really hope this is the right thing to do. To be honest, I've never learned if there's consequences to my actions in this game. So, pray for me. Oh, hello. Okay, we don't have much fuel, so we gotta be fast. If that runs out while we're in the middle of this, bad things are gonna happen. Read notes. Uh, so, we've already removed the lock. So, we need to leave our upper positions in the middle. Peter gives a sound signal, pushes the button. Okay. Push the button. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh. Oh, holy shit. That sounded terrible. Oh. Let's turn the power off before we accidentally fry ourselves and go have a look and see what the hell just happened. We are unfortunately out of inventory space for anything, so I really got a hope. There's no major loot over here. Is she dead? You dead? You look dead. You, you seem to be madman scribblings. It's time for my piggies to go to bed, the great big mother piggy has said. So I will count them first to see all my piggies came back to me. One little piggy, two little piggies, three little piggies. Okay. Interesting. There's another thing of shot pistol there. Hey. How you doing? Can I not loot you? I guess I can't loot you. You are simply horrendous. I hope you know that. Like... There is ugly, and then there is whatever the hell you were. All right, well, that's that done. Let's grab these, and then we're going to go chat with Wolf. God, I hope he has good rewards for us, because this was a nightmare. Hey, Wolf, how you doing, buddy? Right, I got a couple of things I want to sell you first, and then we're going to have a chit-chat about a, a little, little piggy who did not, in fact, make it to market. Show item. He covered chicken pieces. As I produce the key, the world's pupils have widened with excitement. Well, me, I do you think you could succeed? I can't remember his voice. I'm impressed. Time for your reward. You'll find that quack thief here. 
He locked himself away from the world and he won't let anyone in. So I don't know if this information will be of any use to me. What the hell are you looking at? I promised that I'll tell you where to find them and I did. Did I tell you you built a can there? That's something else, isn't it? Now get out of my sight, mate. I have important business to attend to. If you're interested in continuing our wonderful relationship, look for me in the northern edge of the old woods. I predict a tasty future together. Here, deliver this to that insane old bitch as a way of thank you for her. Oh. No, 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 I killed the pig! Where's my... Really? He left? Without giving me the codes to his safes? And without letting me get the reward for... I need to go see a woman about a uh, chicken skull, apparently. Jesus Christ. Hey, chicken lady. Hey, we good? Hi. Oh, lordy, what curse has fallen upon us? Sweet mother, what devilry? One day Jeanette goes missing, the next my sister disappeared. Oh, lordy, lordy. Mister, have mercy upon me and find her. Mother Mary, I don't know what I'm going to do without her all by myself. Uh, here? Jesus almighty, my little darling, what have they done to you? This is a bad sign, mister, a bad sign. What will happen now? Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry, Grandma. So sorry, Grammy. Uh, the wolf made, made me do it. Yeah. Okay, so now I gotta go find where, where she is, I guess? Okay, I guess I can do that. Uh, I mean, that means we need to go back to old... Well, we need to go to old woods. So I need to figure out a way to get through to that. Bit fifth. I don't need that steering wheel anymore because... Uh, I said peace, peace, tech. First, I need to figure out where the doctor is. Hi, hens. I'm here to steal your eggs. Okay, it's raining, which isn't great. But we're going to need to go on an exploratory mission to the north see whether or not we can just make our way out of the silent forest and into the old woods so we can go meet up with wolfman or if we're gonna be up a creek without a paddle if we go up this way so there's a brief exploratory mission we don't have too much time tonight i don't want to be caught out wanting especially not near the old woods i have a feeling that's just asking for death so let's just take it nice and slow i'm gonna have my pistol here we go. Okay. Really? There's nothing stopping me from just... Really? Oh, red chomper. Um, um, oh! this gun right now that guy just exploded into a chomper oh you son of a biscuit okay pace ourselves take the shot closely i don't want to miss this nice okay now we swap to molly Frank. so my first death was uh by sewer slide Awesome. That could have gone better. I'm gonna go get all that stuff back. All right, here's my stuff. Untouched. Fresh in the rain. That is a shame. We were doing so well the whole time, and then I just had to get a little bit too eager with the Molotov. I really thought there'd be something to loot in here. But I guess not. Interesting. There's something there. Oh. Oh. Note from the truck. Okay, interesting. I have another gun. An another magazine. Sorry, not a gun. Jesus. Right, it's getting late. Titan's going to start ticking down really fast soon. We need to head back. We need to prepare for the night because our base isn't exactly secure right now. One more night in the silent forest. And then we can make our way to old... Uh, old, old woods. I think it's called Old Woods. <laughs> Regardless, this is our last night in this base. 
Let's make the most of it, shall we? And hopefully for once not get the absolute shit kicked out of us. Because god damn it, I'm sick of dying in this place. I haven't died in this place actually. But this place has been hell to defend. Every night someone's been banging on our doors. I didn't repair this door. Oh, whatever, I'll be fine. Let's just relax. Stay calm. Oh, god damn it. Oh shit, they're in the wrong they're coming in the wrong door. Of course they choose this door. Come on. There we go. Okay. We're gonna equip the lantern. Because I need to be able to see. Here we are. Alright, we're ready. Military shooting positions. Let's go. Come in, you mother fluffer! Come on! Oh, he hasn't actually broken the door. He just opened it. Come on. Come on! One more hit and I unload on you. So you get mother. Yep, they found me. Okay. Slight problem. If this lantern goes out, I'm gonna need to flare. If that one goes out, we're fine. If this one goes out, I'm very shit! Okay, okay, keep your gun up. We're fine. We're fine. Just back the way into the other lantern. There we go. Okay. Okay. We're safe. We're safe. We're safe. Oh, I hate nine times. We're halfway there. Oh, God! Damn it! Oh! They took out the other light this time. You shadows! Okay, we got three shadow strikes in one night. We definitely need to get the hell out of the silent forest and move into the old woods. This place sucks. Hey friend. How you doing? I am taking this from you straight away because I'm gonna need the extra ammo. Right, let's get this done. So, to move, I need one alcohol, which I believe we have somewhere. Oh, fuck. Right, that's a problem. We can't transfer our items over without alcohol. Okay, that is a slight hitch in our plan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the bullet here. I'm gonna leave the string here. I'm going to take with me wood, enough wood to hopefully reinforce an entire building by itself but that's highly unlikely the bell i'm gonna pray that we somehow get alcohol along the way i think that would as well and that's it we're moving thank you very much for your service mr trader you've been an absolute legend i am heading to the old woods You hear that? Oh god, my lantern's still equipped. I'm wasting it. I am keeping my gun out. <laughs> I'm keeping my gun out 24-7 here. I don't think I'd even get a chance to shovel someone if I tried. Axe me. Is that a spider web? What the hell? Uh, ha -ha. There's something in here. Oh, well, there's one thing. That is not what I was hearing, though. Reloading. I need those nails. I want to have a peek in here. I want to. I want to know what's going on. Here we are, I think. This place will make it, here we are. 
Oh, this is our base. This is our. Oh, the generator's just destroyed. Oh, that's not good. Let's light the oven and then see what we're dealing with because there's no going back now. Here we go. Pop that in there. Excellent. Right. Uh, is there another. Aha! Here we go. Generator's got some fuel in it. Ace. We need to decide where we're going to stay in here because this place is freaking massive. Jesus Christ! Right. I'm thinking. We live in this area here, right? Hear me out. So, leaving this all open, hopefully nobody will be inclined to come smash. We can just live in this little room here and that little room there, which gives us easy access to the generator. So we can turn the light on when nighttime falls. And then nobody will be inclined to break through stuff just because it's there, because it will not be there. I think. I really, I don't know how the AI in this game works, okay? I, being honest, I have no idea. All I can really do is my best, and my best is not very good. We can also live between these, oh, between these two would actually be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, right, that's the plan. Let's make it work. All that's left for me to do is to spend the rest of the day getting everything prepared, ready to go. Maybe have a quick little peeky around for some alcohol, because that'd be pretty neat. If not, then we're just going to make do with what we've got here. You know what? We're going to try this out. We're going to try this. We are going to do a no generator run tonight. That is... I know... I know. It sounds crazy. It is pretty kooky, if I say so myself. Like, oh lord, I see. Are you insane in the membrane? But hear me out. Nothing has been attacking this location since before we arrived here. So they won't expect anyone to be home. Which means nobody will attack if I don't make it obvious that someone's in here. I don't know if this is going to work, but I may as well try it at least once. For any emergencies, I'll keep a flare on me. Because a flare will be able to last through one of the shadow invasions. And... It might work! You never know! If it doesn't work, then I'm going to die! But science dictates I need to try at least once, so... That's what I'm gonna do. Right, I think I have an actionable plan. I will talk you through it, YouTube, later on tonight. But for now, I'm gonna do a quick little extra sort of exploratory thing. We have five hours to make a difference. We need to find alcohol. Alcohol is the only thing we're missing right now. Also, I would love to rebuild the well, but I didn't bring any wood out with me. What have we got? We've got... Okay. Let's head north. Let's just head straight north. It's a straight shot. Oh, I forgot how terrifying it is out here. <laughs> we'll be fine. Baby, don't worry. <gasps> That's a goddamn jumper. And a dog. Ooh. Holy shit. Okay, chompers are just... Out and about here, huh? All right. Maybe we not go dead north, but we can... Really? Really? We got the immortal chompers. We got dogs the size of a truck. And then we got man with rock. <laughs> but I'm a little bit let down, to be honest with you. I was just going over how terrifying this place is. And then it did through a rocket. Me. Um... What? There's a dude here covered in... It's either like he's being turned to stone or covered in webs. What the hell? Really? I need to take this fight. I know there's another chomper nearby and I'm really worried I'm going to back up into him. See, that's what I was worried about. Shit. If we had back continued backing away there, we would have backed right into that dog and been absolutely fragged. I think we just need to take every fight we can get here. Because if we're walking away from something and we walk into something even nastier, like a moose, we're just dead. There, there, there'll be no getting out of 
it. That guy's twitching, so he's not lootable. Yeah, I see how it says open. That means he's poisoned. Let's avoid him. It's like there's something out here turning everything into stone. Again, I've never been this far. This is all pretty much new to me, and I'm getting a little freaked out. I'm also getting really frustrated that there's not been a single drop of alcohol this whole goddamn time. It's either they're turning into stone or like mushrooms are overtaking them because we're seeing a lot of poisonous mushrooms and the vile mushrooms that we're injecting into our eyeballs to give us magical powers and definitely not turning us insane. Maybe when humans die out here, they either get mutated or get turned into mushroom people? Who the hell knows? All right, well, we found the road that used to lead in here. Not what we're looking for. We're still looking for alcohol. There are so many lock chests out here and I have no lock picks and it is infuriating me. This is search or open and open. God damn it. Oh, you beauty. Here we go. Ah, you son of a- Barn ruins, eh? Uh, yeah, I know. I don't have time. Oh, I really wanted to get alcohol. Oh God, Jesus. I really, really wanted to get alcohol before we headed back. Pregnant dog there. Empty bottle, are you kidding me? Oh, dude, this game. Right, we need to get back home. No alcohol out here. And if we don't head home right now, we're not gonna make it. And I'm pretty sure this place will have my guts for garters if I'm even slightly late. It is so dark. Uh, it is... I, there are so many things around me. I can hear them. Okay, we're out of time. We are so out. We're so out of time. It's not even funny. Get out of there. Close that. Seal this off. Mm, that's so loud. so ballsy i really hope this works because if it doesn't i'm up a creek we have flares all we can do now is sit in the darkness so far so good it's been two hours <gasps> two hours of the darkness i don't hear anything bad Except for dying doggies. Dying doggies are okay because it's not me dying, it's them. So, what the hell? Why is there a... Huh? What the... F I mean, that gives me stuff for armor, but why the hell are there holes in my house? What was that noise? Shit. I don't think our ploy worked. Oh, ew, ew, no, stop, stop, stop. Oh, God damn it. Okay. The darkness has come. That thing was trying to poison us. I think it just spawned another one. They'll go into the middle of the room here and they'll go and try and poison us. I hear so there's something outside there. Dude, there's something else out there. What is this? What is happening? Something's here. Something really bad is here. I think, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're gonna need to pop one more flare to survive. 
shadows. I think whatever it was that was out there trying to eat us didn't find a way in. But I did not like that. Dude, these noises. I regret this. I'm never doing this again. I think we're going to reinforce this middle room, move our lamps in here, and just live in this room. Because this sucks. I think we survived. I think we survived. We're okay. Oh! I hated every minute of that. I just want you to know. Every minute of that was horrible. Shit. Okay, some of the bugs got in. They've gooped up our floor. So we're going to need to deal with that before we do much else today. I need alcohol. Do you have alcohol? Visibly struggling, the man drops the sack from his back and bends in half as if out of breath. Shakes the dust off his clothes and rolls up the sleeve of his seemingly too small jacket. I see some new words written on his forearm. The forest wants to devour you. You're ahead of straight into his jaws. Great. Why don't you sell alcohol? <laughs> Man, it's such a simple desire. I want to get drunk. Okay, because we can't get our loot out here, we have no way to pick this lock, but I did see an alternate path in via these crates. And well, that's going to go, I don't... Oh, we can also go this way. Ooh. Okay, I need to reload. Here we go. Keep your eyes open. That's a chomper! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Get them, doggies! Get them, doggies! I think they're fighting. I think the dogs are fighting the chomper. It's too far away! Oh. Okay. Okay. Hey, buddy. Relax. Sorry. Oh, no. Chomper's right there. Just chilling. Chomper's dead! Where'd that dog go? Dog is gone. Okay. I need alcohol. There has to be something in this place. Okay, we're inside. I hear something. Everything in this place is locked! Oh, those are two big dogs. Oh, come on! Shit, I don't have the... Okay. Really? Really? You missed both ch... Did not want to use all my ammo like this. I swear to God, if there is not one bottle of alcohol in this place... Oh shit! Ah, I deserve that! <sighs> there better be a ball of alcohol in here. Got a generator. A, a corpse. The stuff. Okay, there's dogs in there. Christmas light? Another part? What the hell? No alcohol. Wolfman! Of course Wolfman has alcohol! Oh, Wolfman! Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes! Bumrad! The wolf makes a quick leap, bouncing against me with his swollen belly. Puts his paws on my shoulders. He ostentiously 
licks his face. What a gift you have given me. I notice fresh blood stains on his fur and feel streaks of his saliva dripping onto my coat. He leans towards me as if he wants to say something in my ear. The wolf squeezes my arms and starts licking my face. Once from the left, once from the right. Comrade me. His breath stinks of rot. What would I ever do without you? You're not such a worthless piece of carcass as you look. Thanks to you, I feel fulfilled. I got my girl, my sweet little lady back. Hard to believe the same blood th flows through the veins of the bitch who reeks of chickens. Suddenly the wolf sends me back with a powerful push and reaches into his coat pocket. Some object hits the floor. Here, no need to thank me. Now since that part of the deal is behind us, I'll help you recover your stupid key. I'll take you back to the doctor's house. I'm sure you'll find some clues on how to reach his current hideout. Well, there. You two will have a little chat. You'll get back what you've lost. Then nothing will keep you from getting the F out of my part of the woods. Do you get me, mate? You will pack your bags, dive into that stinking hole of yours, and dis a effing pier. Are we going, comrade? Not yet. Show item. Uh, strange box? Oh, I've already, I've already shown him that one. Uh, okay. Interesting. Huh. I wonder if time freezes when I go to the the doctor's house. Suddenly, Wolf slaps me on the cheek. I can hear the pitiful sobs of the old wretches and the pleas of the peasants, begging their beloved forest to bring back the soul's life. Poor efforts have no idea I will be the only one to hear their cries. This is music to my ears, meet. Their lamentations make me calm. Finally, I'll be able to sleep soundly. I'll bet they will attempt to break through that wall of trees. Oh, such a shame that I can't breathe in their desperation up close. Me, just one more thing. Say hello from me when you're in the village. The wolf checks his pockets. I received a hot bar upgrade. Holy shit. Oh, do you have alcohol? Of course he doesn't sell alcohol. God damn. Excuse me, what? He gave me a hunting rifle? What? Five hot bar slots. Your boy is cooking with gas. Excellent. Okay, that is phenomenal. I don't think I'm ready to go to... Half-eaten body of a deformed woman. He didn't want to marry the pretty lady. He wanted to eat the pretty lady. You know what? He gave me a hot bar upgrade and a honey rifle. I am A-OK -okay with his weird habits at this point. I can't even pretend to be mad. Dude, like, basically has single-handedly helped me get out of the woods at this point. Thanks, buddy. You're the best. Okay, so what's really important right now is he's given me the alcohol. I'm not gonna go to the doctor's house tonight. What I'm gonna do, I have the key now. I will come back here tomorrow to go to the doctor's house. I need to go home. I need to get stuff organized. I need to get the alcohol bribed or the the the, the bell ringer ding a ling a ding dong. Someone's touching my ding dong. That guy bribed. So that he'll do my bidding. Okay, those guys are fine, that's fine. That's nothing to do with me. That might be something to do with me. Let's get out of here. Things are going good. Things are going good. There's a freaking church there. We're not ready to deal with that and whatever the hell's in the basement of that. What the... F what was that? I really don't want to find out. Okay, let's, uh, let's get home without getting eaten alive by some giant monstrosity. Holy shit. All right, this is it. This is dream time. Uh... Let's go weakness, because we're mostly going guns. And... I'm gonna go careful step, because that'll be very important. Here we go. Let's see. What's in here? Last stream, we went to that church and checked the basement, and there's a church marked on our map. This stream... Uh, I have no idea what this stream's all about. The earth bends under my footsteps. The sky swirls pleasantly. 
Okay. I think it's here. I remember this. This is where I stopped playing last time. Completely ordinary dead man with a smile on his face. This is, this is where I stopped playing last time. It was after this dream. This is it. I'm caught up officially. So we must have gotten to the old woods. There we go. And you know how I remember that? I remember that because we already have the achievement for that. Not to kill the pig one. Uh, sleep in the grave. Yeah. Damn! Alright, we are caught up! Th from now on, this is all brand new territory for me. And I couldn't be more excited. Ding, ding! Ding, ding! Alright, hopefully he shows up. Let's... Let, okay, we got the bribe. Alright. Hey, buddy! How are you doing? Good to see you. Show I um. Here's some alcohol. Uh, if you want, Boston, bring a junk from the other hideout. Yes, please. Take it from the silent forest. You are an absolute legend. Okay, so starting tomorrow, we'll have access to all our gear here, which will massively help us in our attempt to survive. We're good to go. At this point now, I just need to burn away another day so that we can... I mean, sur survive. Like... Next up, we're gonna go see the doctor's house. This is crazy progress. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're gonna go refill the generator, and then it's just a case of burning four hours. So that the... I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I've already forgotten how my own defenses work. Okay, now I can be less dumb with this. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go all the way around. So this is the way we need to go back. We're gonna go all the way around to here. Do it die, bring... No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Those can just stay unbarricaded. Down here, we will top up the generator. And then we wait. We wait until 8 p.m. Spend the night here. Tomorrow we go back up and... Well, we store all the stuff from Bike Man. Go Bike Man Gym. And then we're gonna go up and see the wolf and be like, yo, let's go to the doctor's house. Our plan commences. Operation, have everything lit up and try not to die in the old woods. We're going to book it all the way through here. Leave the wardrobe like this. I'm actually going to move it because it was kind of in a bad spot there. Lock that door with it. There we go. Absolutely perfect. Right, perfect. So now this place is lit up and this place is lit up. And this is where we make our stand. Well, that doesn't sound good. Jesus Christ. Something big and bad is... Is that that door? I can't tell. I don't know if that's the outside door or that door. I think it's the outside door. I don't... I think someone's hitting that door as well. Okay, that one's definitely busted. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can see that one getting hit. Oh, dear. Here we go. Bad doggy. Bad doggy. Bad doggy. Push that back there. Put the doggy. And we continue waiting. Honestly, this is infinitely better than being hunted by shadows the entire night! Why am I hearing a heartbeat? What is that? What is happening to my floor? What is happening? What is happening? What is this? Uh... Okay, whatever this is, I really don't like it. Please go away. There is blood everywhere.
while he's busting through that cupboard now. Air footsteps. came through all with all of our stuff what an absolute legend god i love that guy freaking legend let's get everything stored uh, we need to keep that out to sell it oh i'm stressed dude i'm so stressed i think with this fabric we're going to do an inventory upgrade the last few times we've been doing hot bar upgrades but that is invaluable right now because look at this inventory you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort this. Give me a second. I did my best to organize it. It doesn't look much better, but it's better than it was before. We're gonna go sell all these sticks and the knife to Wolf. We're gonna, oh, there's more rags here. We're gonna keep everything else in here for posterity's sake. We're gonna sell the bread. We're gonna cook the odd looking mushrooms. And then we head over to Wolf and go visit the doctor. See what the good doctor has to say for himself. So checking off what we're doing today again, we're going to head straight up to Wolf. We're going to do some bartering. Then we are going to have a chit chat with him to go see the doctor's house. Then we explore the doctor's house. Then I guess we see what we do from there because I genuinely, genuinely don't know. This is strange. I don't know where to go from there. This is exciting. This is new and fancy. We're gonna deal with this one Simply because I don't trust myself To not trigger another one. Oh God that was through my armor as well Oh, yeah. what the hell Okay, okay, he turned it I did not know they could turn into little, like, legless gremlins. That sucks. That really sucks. Is he a lizard or something dropping his freaking legs? That guy wanted me dead so much he shed all the, like, all the unnecessary weight and just went for the jugular. And he almost got me. Look at the state of my armor. What a dick bag, dude. What, what a dick bag. I know you can't promise me this, Wolf, but I hope to hell the doctor's house freezes time because otherwise. Army man, dude. -do. Oh. Time is not frozen. Well, that sucks. Okay. Oh wait, time is frozen. Time's not moving. Ooh, nice! All right, let's reload. And we're ready for whatever the... Jesus. Jesus! Jesus Christ! What the f... insane I could bust this door down I don't need a key holy sh well that was definitely worth the durability loss Jesus Christ right back to being absolutely amazed at the fact that the freaking forest has ripped the land in twain. Okay, that was a gunshot. 
What am I hearing? Can't see through those windows. Okay. Time to put this new axe to good use. Nah, screw that. I've got a gun. <laughs> Why use an axe when you have gun? <sighs> hey. Okay. I can't see anything. Oh, where's the doctor? Hey, buddy. Daddy went out and left. Angry and hungry he was. And hungry too. He's gonna turn. I, you might think, oh, a rusty key. You might think that was a cruel thing to do, but I guarantee you, if I had turned my back to that guy, he was gonna turn into a chomper. There is no way. I am turning my back to a dead body again. I'm going to turn my back to that dead body. <laughs> One that's alive. Okay, there's no way I'm going to turn my back to a dead live body. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Ooh. Okay, we got some loot here. Um, I'll take the ice. What the f*** is happening here? We're back. This is it. This is the doctor's house. Another odd stone. Four. Six. There's a four and a six on the floor here. Is that a nine there on that parchment? A five there. Four, six, nine, four, four, six. Wait, no, that's a nine. Four, nine, nine, five, maybe? Or would it be nine, five, four, oh, eight. Eight, four, five, nine. Let's give that a go. We got it. Toy. Doctor's note with the code. Code to the car door is 5103. And the location of a train? Which I can't check location of because I can't open my map here. God. What the hell is that? Eyes behind because alcohol is far more important right now. Jesus Christ. Last time we were here, someone attacked me here. Oh. I know him. He's not going to be attacking anyone ever again, I guess. Ah, this, this, this doctor, man. I'm assuming he was trying to do it for the the better good, you know, the quote unquote greater good, but look at the evil he left behind. All these people that he tortured. The dog that he killed that was nothing to do with me. And I didn't do it, I swear. This well that he's left unattended. In all seriousness, though, this is <laughs> creeping me out. So there's nothing else here. That's it. We're done. We've gotten everything we can, which is a train code, a location, and a rusty key, which I'm fairly certain was for the bathroom that we've already been in. I busted down with my axe. So, yeah. I guess it's time to go home. Right, we're here. I've just set chat off with Liviusa, but what's really important right now is we've actually arrived at the doctor's house. This will be the first time we have seen the doctor since he bonked us on the head and abandoned us in that house. Assuming he's still here, this might be a wild goose chase. 
Let's find out. Joint. What if he's turned into something? There is every chance. Ah, shit, what was the codes? 5103. 5103. There is every chance that the doctor isn't even here anymore. And this is just a monster. It's the doctor! Don't come near me. That was a pretty woman? Hey, buddy. You owe me an explanation. The doctor is lying against the train car's wall. His face is covered in sweat. An intense odor of alcohol hangs in the air. Do not come close, you rotten dog. I won't give you the key. Can you understand that I saved your life? You'd rot away in that clearing if it wasn't for me. You owe me, for freak's sake. The doctor moves closer to the wall, grotesquely kicking his legs against the floor. You think I don't know who you are, rat? I've managed to get a good look at you. Your kind visits us whenever you please. You hide behind the trees and watch us from a distance and then disappear. Well, he's got a cigarette. You have no idea how it is to live here. This place, these woods, everything is freaked up in here. I won't take it anymore, do you understand? I won't bear the look of those deformed, reeking bodies anymore. Not the cries of those wretched villagers. First thing for help. Now I need to hide from them. I'm just an ordinary doctor. How the fuck was I supposed to help them? How? The doctor goes silent. His face, now hugging the wall of the train car, looks truly pathetic. Can you hear it? It's, it's the walls. Speak to me. My little girl is calling me. I know she's waiting for me. I must come back to her. She's so close. His voice breaks down. I want to go back home. You can see the panic in his eyes. Please, this key is my only chance. Help me escape this place. Help me or kill me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, now this is a choice. So far, we haven't been an asshole. Okay, okay. That's a lie. We killed the pig, which was the only hope of the villagers, and we accidentally killed Piotrev. This pathetic excuse of a man. I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's so pathetic. I'm not wasting a bullet on this man. Here. We take out the map and show the doctor the location of the abandoned house with a hidden underground entrance. The doctor stares at the map for a long while without lifting his gaze to meet mine. Thank you. He removes his dirty glasses with a trembling hand and freezes. I will wait for you there, and I gotta take the essential things with you. Looks like returning here will be impossible. Okay. We found the doctor. I found the doctor. I've agreed to help him escape the woods. We're meet by the door inside the underground path. Is that it? Are we done? Are... Are we done? So we've spared the doctor. We're gonna meet him back at base. Wolf doesn't want anything else to do with us. I think at this point, we pack up and go, right? I mean, we return to the Dry Meadows hideout. We have the alcohol to bribe the guy to bring the loot to us that the dry meadows is already set up and ready for us to go so let's just head there now and holy crap what the hell red one a green one for my little girls so many candles so many flowers a green one red. hey buddy hey howard thief oh nope sorry buddy 2592. Dude, there is no way he was not gonna transform. I'm a good person, okay? I just. I'm a good person in a bad situation. You can't blame me for this stuff. I'm trying to survive. I feel bad. I genuinely feel bad. I just. I just hit that guy in the face for no reason. <laughs> he was doing me no wrong. <laughs> just. 
smacked it right in the boat. What the nuts? Uh, okay, let's see what's in here. I sure hope it's nothing. Oh, God. because he kind of lost his mind. <laughs> so, we're just gonna go back down. And I can see that there's more to this place than I already saw, so we need to find out where the hell we're meant to be going here. Jesus Christ, okay. There's one. One of them just spawned in behind me. Where's the other one? There he is. Okay, swap over to Axe. Jesus Christ! Oh, we got him. We got him. Wait, is there not more here? Is this it? Did I come back here for no... Well, not for no reason. My loot's here. But for pretty much no reason. There's nowhere else to go here. I thought this was like a door or something. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we're going to be stuck here for another night. It's two. It's almost 3 p.m. I could maybe make it, but it's highly unlikely. We'd probably get caught out in the darkness and just get absolutely reamed. We're spending one more night in the old woods. And then we're beating the game. We are beating the game. Let's cook this shit up. Oh shit, are we getting another dream? Normally we only get one dream per level. Rattle trap. Darkwood, thank you by Acid Wizard. Or are these their patrons? Stay closed, please. That's spooky. Must be some kind of fake oven. A flat black top with circles drawn on it. What a peculiar dream. Sink is filled with dirty dishes table made of different colored blocks. A black matte mirror hangs above it. I have no idea what it may be. Try not to sit on it. There's some wine. 
stains on the spread. What a lovely family. Is that the developer? Oh, well, this isn't scary. This is really wholesome. Oh, that's what Pure Tech was based off of? I don't know who Marcin is. Oh, these are the developers! Holy shit! She's very pretty. These are the designs. These drawings are terrible, just like mine. Man, acid wizards. Where did you guys go? Please come back and make the second best horror game in the world. Or even replace this one and make it, e make it even better. Locked, I could open it with a lockpick. I don't have a lockpick though. Damn it, we're back. Okay. Excellent. That is fine. Now. We wait until the end of the night. The coming of the dawn shall bring with it a frightful light that will chase away the darkness and give us new meaning to head to the end of the game. I think there's, I think there's two of them out there. Yeah, there are definitely two. Okay. Okay. Seems like the, the old woods aren't ready to give me up yet. Hi, friends. Oh, damn. Oh god, didn't get them both, didn't get them both. Okay, didn't get either, oh my god, there were three! I'm out of ammo. Jesus Christ! There were three of them! A whole army came to take me away! Oh, what is the cost of failure in this game? Oh. Wait, is my stuff in that room? Oh, oh, no. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. That could have been a lot worse. I did not expect three and I didn't expect to run out of ammo at the worst possible time. Jesus Christ. The man grabs my arm and pulls me closer. Strong smell of mushrooms assails my nostrils. The old sack covering his body slides down, revealing his chest covered in horrid growths. It is fused with a porous helmet, pulsating to the rhythm of his breath. I'm starting to feel dizzy. Without loosening his grip, the man raises his left arm, bringing his forearm to my face. It's pale as paper and reads, Do not open the door. Let's stick together. Dude, I'm so sorry, but I'm getting the hell out of here and there is nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. I hate this place. No, 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 no. You might shake your head. You might be like, no, no, no. You don't understand, Mr. Trader. I hate this place. I can't stand it here. I'm leaving. I'm never coming back. You're welcome to join me. But I will not. You stand in my way. We're good to go. We have a hunting rifle. We have a shotgun. We have the alcohol for the bribe. We have Molotovs and we have our axe fully upgraded. We're heading back to Dry Meadows. And then it's one more night in this game. One last night. And then we're gone. We should head to the burnt house. It just occurred to me, we might be able to shortcut back to the dry meadows through the burnt house. Let's go do that. We genuinely can't afford to be distracted by anything here. If we don't make it to the dry meadow by the time the next night falls, I'm going to cry. And I'm also going to be stuck outside with the darkness. And considering how... Oh, God. Bless. Oh. Okay, hang on. I did not have the right equipment. Equipment for... Really? I missed? Equipped for this. There we go. Oh, okay. I, I'm assuming there's a punishment for dying. There's no way that dying is free. I don't want to die again at night. I feel like something horrible is going to happen if I do. I just want to get the hell out of here. This place, it's awful. It's just, aw there's mushrooms everywhere. Ah, what the fuck is that? Ah, uh, no! Hi, 
give him the oh, motherfucker! Oh, I hate my life. Oh, I hate everything. Not mean to step on those mushrooms. I hope I'm not about to die. That's uh, going to be really close. My health is ticking down. Okay, we're fine. But if we take one more hit from anything, I'm dead. I have never in my life seen one of those before. Safe to say I never in my life want to see one again. Where the hell is this burned house? It says I'm right here. Here we go. Okay. Shotgun ready. All right, there's another one of them. Don't like this music. What the hell? It's like the l the light of my. It's almost like I can see into the past. What is going on here? Oh, my keys fit. Shit! Oh! 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 Here we go! Okay! We're out! We're out! We're gone! We're back in the dry meadows! Shortcut! Success! <sighs> We're safe. We're safe. Honestly, it feels oh, so good to be back here. We have fought through hell and high water to get back to safety. And we're finally here. We're about to beat the game. It has been years, at least seven years, maybe six. Since I, fi I started this playthrough. And finally, I'm about to beat it. Genuinely, that is unreal to think about. Oh, a chapter of this channel is coming to a close. Oh, I miss you, you easily defendable, gorgeous motherfucker. Oh, okay. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Where are you, friend? Shit, where is he? Hey, buddy. I am going to bribe you a big fat bottle of alcohol. Bring my shit from Old Woods. Thank you. Right, we are closing this door. He will come here tomorrow. We're going to barricade up this window. Beautiful. Uh, Where's our entrance point? Our entrance point is over there. So that's right. That's right. Oh, I was defending this in a really cool way by like pinning the wardrobe here. Closing. Dude, this is great. This is really crazy cool. Coming all the way back here and seeing how I used to defend stuff, how everything used to be. <laughs> I'm actually really, really hyped. 10,000 essence? Okay, I'm assuming that dose is just not meant to be achievable because that is butt fucking insane. <sighs> right, we're gonna store all this crap in here. We're good to go. There we go. And now we just burn time. That's it. We're burning daylight until it's time to sleep. And we sleep. Well, we don't sleep in this game. We fend off the darkness because we're terrified and scared. <sighs> and tomorrow. Uh, that's not normal. Why has someone lit a flare outside? Okay, now I'm curious. I know, like, look. This is dry meadow, okay? Nothing bad's going to happen to us here. It's dry freaking meadow. Worst thing that happens is a regular old puppo comes over and goes, ow, ow, and we hit him in the face with an axe. Or we hit one of these guys in the face with an axe. Either way, it works for me. Hey, buddy. Why are you lighting a flare out here, huh? What's the deal with airline fit? Whoa. Oh, that was... 
and we went a bit too far outside the, the safety zone there, and we almost got eaten by the darkness. What the worst that could happen, Icy says, as he walks into the darkness with no protection. <sighs> Sometimes I'm a big dumb idiot. I am going to park my ass in this room, and I am not going to move until the night is over. I don't know why I even thought it was a good idea to go outside there. It wasn't. I'm very dumb. Also, there was a man in a pig mask. That's what that was. A man with a pig mask was out there dropping flares around my house to lure the enemies closer. Oh, the villagers! Because I killed... Oh my god, it's because I killed their pig! They're coming to take revenge! I'm gonna be killing a lot of people from now on, huh? Oops. <laughs> right, it's just a little bit south from here. We got the generator off in case we need to book a retreat because nothing is ever as it seems in the dark woods. We should be fine. Doctor should meet us in there and then we're good to go. As far as I'm aware, right? This is it. This is it. We really didn't spend all that much time in in old woods, though, did we? It was just kind of an in and out deal because we found w wolf immediately. We did the church, which was an absolute horrendous nightmare. And then we found the doctor. Pretty goddamn fat. There's. Oh, yeah, I left that in there, didn't I? I should take everything I need with me coming back may prove impossible. I mean, I have pretty much everything that's majorly important. Actually, no. Okay, if coming back's impossible, give me a second. Here we go. No going back now. God. I hate the sound of this place. Just still at the ready. Actually, never mind. Flashlight at the ready because I can't see anything. Torch! It's a torch, I see! God damn it, we need to un American you, dude. One of these days, one of these days, you'll be British again. Almost there. Should be right around this. Why are all the lights off? Normally there's lights on in here. Oh, hey, dude. Honestly, for a second there, I thought he betrayed me. Are we going? Ask the doctor to use the key. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Uh, you're going a bit fast there, Doc. Doc? You good, buddy? I'm a bit worried. Why did they give me... There's someone still moving there under the rubble. Why did they give me flares? Hey, buddy. You okay? I stumble upon something amongst the rubble. A strange soft item. The tunnel has collapsed recently. The reinforced steel protruding from the debris had not yet been covered with rust yet. When I gaze into the tunnel, I notice the silhouette of a man on the ground. Yes, yes, in the window of a man, terrible scab- Sorry. Suddenly the man stamps to life as if awoken from a deep slumber. Who goes there? They are faint, unnaturally distorted male voice. Are you- Are you one of them? The man attempts to get up, but fails. I can see him desperately flailing his limbs around, as if his back has been glued to the ground. No, please. As I approach him, he shuffles his legs nervously, as if trying to retreat into the collapsed tunnel. I didn't do anything, I beg you. I just wanted to pass. Get back to my family. The tree is blocked the only way out. The only path home. A huge talking tree. I begged it to let me pass, but it wouldn't listen. I could not understand what it was saying to me, so we came here. The man props himself up on his elbows. With a huge effort, he tries to straighten his body. Something is firmly holding him by the back of the neck. I... I, I can't get up. The man drops onto the rubble and goes silent. He clenches his fists. My head. 
hurts. The man plays his hand on his forehead and feels a strange dent above his left brow. He freezes. What? What, what is this? He carefully inserts his index finger into the hole. His eyelid twitches. My stone. Hear a sound as if an eggshell cracking. Forehead bends under his hand. The stranger pushes another finger into the hole. A thick goo spews from the wound. I can hear his skull cracking. My little stone. The man slowly removes his fingers from the hole in his head, colorless ooze dripping from them. He's holding something, a round object. That's why. He swings his left hand and throws the object at me. A small, irregular ball bounces off my arm and lands at my feet. It looks like a bullet, but it's soft. This... This is what put me to sleep. His head lifelessly drops to the concrete floor of the destroyed tunnel and goes still. Suddenly I can hear the bang of a metal door followed by the sound of the footsteps. It's the doctor. Uh, the doctor just abandoned me? Big sign on the door reads closed area. What the hell is going on? something in the water. What the fuck is going on? Just wanted to pass. Return to my family. First loading screen I've seen since I started the game. Don't tell me I didn't escape. Chapter 2?